Hello, everyone, and welcome to the broadcast. Thank you for being here today. Happy Wednesday. We'll be playing more Harold Halibut today. Harold Longy Long Pants Halibut. Uh, let's see, did I tweet? Yes. Tomorrow is Friday, Junior. Tomorrow is Grey Zone Warfare Day. Um, I asked Lupo and Ames if they were going to play. They're going to be at that convention thing for um, Magic the Gathering. Um, Trip has a squad, so I don't really know who I'm going to play with. I was like, maybe I'll just play by myself. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how it is. They're giving me keys, and then they're giving me, like, extra keys, too. So I might just be able to, like, make my own squad. I'm going to try playing with a controller today to see how it feels, because it definitely feels like it's, like, going to be easier with controller, because I keep having to remember, like, wait, if I press space bar... But if I press the other thing, so I'm just gonna try with uh, I'm gonna try with a uh, controller today, see how that feels, because it is just a lot of like left and right, and then you know, okay, yeah, this is exactly where we're. 61 days remain, uh, two months. We got two months until we can't leave here anymore for 80 years. The countdown continues. Fishy and I are best friends. Okay, how do I sprint then? Now I gotta relearn. How do you sprint? Oh, hello, Fishy. So, it's a community based around the energy giving properties of the particles. Ah, Harold, join us. Hello, you two. Oh, hello. Uh, hello. <laughs> yes. Uh, we get warmth in the air from them. And other things. Like food? Materials? And where do the particles come from? We aren't sure. There is a big glowing hole in the cave that feels very nice to be around, though. Radiation! Oh, you didn't tell me this earlier. What? I... Oh, Moreau. I didn't really tell him. Not much changes back home. So I suppose no one thinks much about them. Oi, Fay. We need to see this hole. I'd love to see it too. But how do we get Carol there? would love to see the hole. By the way, Professor, did you tell Wii U what you told me about the particles? Oh, so I we're did. calling it Wii U? I suppose I owe Wii U here a thank you. My pleasure. I accept. Uh, Wii U, it's more like she means... I mean, let's retire for tea. No great plan was ever made without it. What? You're gonna step over everybody? What the fuck? Tea. Harold you. is a psycho. It smells great, like flowers. Yes. Don't no. Hang on. Hang on a minute. <laughs> We're doing a social experiment, chat. Okay. There is a table here. This is a wall. Okay. There is a person seated here, on a chair. And a person laying down on the ground here. You want to sit here. Do you A, walk across, step over the table and the person seated to get to your seat? That's A. Oops, that's tiny. A. Or B, go around everybody so you don't step over top of everyone. If you picked A, you are a psychopath. No. If you pick A, straight to jail. This? No. No, 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 no. <laughs> a, O. Oh. <laughs> no. Insanity. What kind of person steps over the table that everyone's drinking from? Yeah, there's Fucking weirdo. He like walked of. over fishy, stepped like, over his legs and everything. Whatever is going on with all water. Well, we don't know for sure. Or sit on the left, yeah. Their bets on the He's got to face the camera, though. And the CEO is acting strangely indeed. And then there's the light keepers. What's their plan in all this? Who knows? I'm wary, but at least they seem invested in the truth. 
And that means for now. No, there's stairs, but you can go around the stairs. Wherever they are. I guess so. Where they go behind nice fishy. Stop with the graffiti, though. <laughs> What's the latest with our start procedure, by the way? My my, T does make you talkative. Cyrus is working hard. I'm sure he'll iron out the problems he's having. It's just whether he'll iron them out in time. How do you feel about all this, Wii U? Oh, great. So much is going on. It's very exciting. And how about you, Harold? I'm just relieved we could help Wii U. Are we helping you? Yes. You two clearly have a special bond already. Oh, uh, what is bond? It's something that keeps us close together. Oh, okay. Are you holding it? <laughs> no, Wii U. It's an invisible emotional thing. Great. Less to carry. Wii U, do you miss where you came from at all? Not really. I'll go back eventually, and that's okay. Go. Oh. I quite wondered if maybe you'd take Harold with you. What? Me? To the cave? Yes. To investigate the source of the particles. Of course, I want to go, but I can't just drop everything and people would notice me gone. Oh, but people wouldn't notice Harold me? gone. Thanks. And me. Don't worry, my boy. <laughs> I'll be in close contact. People would notice if I'm gone. Haven't you been No one will notice if you're gone. Oh, sure, but... What if I get the adventure wrong? Oh, you will. You'll just be observing. No, you'll fuck it up somehow. Readings, letting Wii U show you how things work. You trust him, right, Wii U? Sure. There'll be lots of Flumilim to meet. Plenty of Malgaraha to see. What are Flumilim? Oh, that's a hard one to translate. It means... Things you can talk to. Like everyone back at the cave. But I suppose it also means people like you. Oh, so it's the name for your kind. Well, it's all kinds. We've not needed any more detail before. And no one will mind if you don't call them Flumilim. Cool. It's just a bit confusing otherwise, don't, don't you think? <laughs> not for us. We all have so many classifications for everything. Even a person can be... Mm. Male or female? Mm. Now that's confusing. Huh. I suppose that's true. So, do you not have, uh, two kinds of person? Not like how you're thinking. Don't worry about it. Just call us friends. Or our names. Okay, we will do. Great, then it's settled. Will you? You'll take Harold to explore the cave and meet the rest of the Flumilim. I can't believe it's gonna Flum be a limb. that sees it all for the first time. It's like time. the Flormodon. Yay. Oh, but I can swim. How will Howell come with me? Howell. Oh, just follow me. Another I name. A little something to show you both. <gasps> Did she make us a submarine? Or a special spacesuit? Or not spacesuit, but water suit. Oh my god, Wii U, you left your cup on the ground. I don't know if anyone's told you, but that's not very polite. I'm trying to figure out how to sprint. Oh. Okay, zoom is that one. How do I sprint? Okay, it's X for some reason. I gotta wait for my turn on the elevator. It's only a two-person elevator. <laughs> oh, they abandoned me. Oh, no, they're over here. Well, one of them is over here. Oh, we're going in there? <gasps> Secrets. New places are being opened up to us. You know what this thing on the wall looks like next to the desk? Like between the desk and the ladder? It looks like a scratching post for a cat. Like a really big one, you know? How do I go in here? Okay. Oh my God. By all means, move at a glacial pace. Yay, submarine. Oh my god, we're going on an adventure, Wii U. <laughs> okay, now that Harold has mastered the two-foot staircase, or ladder. I'd like to introduce you both to Jetsum, a little hobby project of mine. This lady just a made a submarine. short-range planetary surface analysis. And now... It will be your means of visiting a very different Oh my god, world. we're leaving the Fedora 1. I'll look after it, I promise. 
Now, before you go, I've uploaded new firmware to your PDA. Oh, do I have what does it now? do? Well, I developed an update to the translation software based yeah. on your discussions with Wii U for use with the PDA. So you don't have to schlep that huge machine around. Oh, neat. I call it Omnicom. Also, you should both take one of these. Where does this go? In your ear. It's an earphone. <laughs> it connects Where to does PDA this go? You have real-time translation. Oh my god. Plus, it allows me to stay in close contact what? with you. Wii U doesn't even have ears. Where did and you just put that? Long range? It should do. I developed a super efficient transmitter and new batteries for Convenient. using some of Wii U particles. Glad to help. It'll mean that whatever happens, you can stay in contact with me in some shape or form. And Harold? Yes, Professor? Do not lose it. Oh, we're gonna Unlike lose it. That toaster. These aren't easily replaced. I won't. I'll be careful. About everything. That should be everything you need. Hop in. I'll be on the radio, and I'm sure you two will look after each other. We you. Let's go visit your home. Thanks, Professor. Good luck, you two, and have fun. For me. We will. Meep, meep. Um, why is there a drawing of a foot on the wall? Do you see that on the red wall? There's like a just a drawing of a foot. It looks like a Shel Silverstein drawing. We'll be back before curfew. I hope I don't have to drive this thing. That could be dangerous. Like me. Just just don't be How does all this stuff work? You. I think this panel shows What happens if I push this? Oh god. Oh too fast! Oh my god, it's got like treads. Oh, like a tank. Come on, come on, come on, come on, stop swerving. I'm not in control, okay? If we if we crash into anything, I'm not in control right now. I just want chat to be aware. Yeah, no one's gonna see us through one of the windows. Oh, seems like you're making it swim calmly now. Yeah. Okay, maybe I'm. Oh, now I'm in charge. Okay. I mean, I'm not. I'm still not in charge. Getting so less light. Less light means bad distance. It's called dark. And yeah, getting very hard to see. <laughs> the game is doing it. What is that? Oh, it's a... Uh, it's chilly. Like a sea anemone. Wasn't easy. Go backwards. Dark and chilly. Don't like yeah. either. But once I had started... I just wanted to see what there was. Had to keep going. Next thing I knew, very light. Less chilly. Lots of owl. Then you, shouting at me. When you tell it like that, it doesn't sound like a Chinese. great experience. Worth it. Well, I'm glad it was worth it, and that you kept going. On that note, how are we going to get to your place? No worry, I can see. What, in the dark? No, it's more like the right direction glows for me. Oh, everything on the fedora is signposted, so we don't even have to think about how to get somewhere. <laughs> Glowing directions sound much more fun. Whoa! So you can direct me. That was a me huge there? and very gross-looking. Yep. Oh. I can see the way clearly. And I'd better Octopus turn on the proximity in the sensors in the dark. I really don't want a lecture from Moreau. Okay, Wii U, you're the boss. Take us away. Leviathan class creature detected nearby or whatever the it's there now. voice line is. Be careful. The entrance tunnel is very narrow. Okay, I think I see it. Going to be a tight squeeze. <laughs> Yay, we didn't crash. We're here? We're really here? This game took 18 years to make. Yeah. Good job, Howell. Howell? Now we just have a short swim. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. Very short. It'll be fine. Let's go. I wonder if, does Harold even know how to swim? How would you learn how to swim? If you were like on the spaceship, you know? That's underwater? Oh! Oh, well that's not that far. 
Come on, Harold. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's drowning. Come on, Harold. It's not so hard. Maybe an indoor pool? Yeah, something like that. Land. I feel like it would be important to know how to swim because if you needed to do maintenance. I'm on land. Real alien land. On the outside of the thing. It's just a bit of rock. Come on up. Yeah, but I've only ever lived inside of a metal container before. So oh God! Much rock. No! Real rock. Where did we go? Being slightly warm. And... Yes. Where are you? Rock is okay. I think she glitched oh, out. Rock. Ah, oh, Wii U. It's just that the fedora. I think that I think that Wii U vanished. Nine oh six. I'm gonna reload the auto save and see if it fixes this. My guide. The submarine drop hole. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering if like, oh now, now no one exists. Okay, there we go. <laughs> We're here? We're really here? Yep, this is the place. Good. Okay, now I can, oh. I can skip this dialogue. Very sure. I feel like, like, uh, you know, in that, in the situation that they're in, if it were a realistic situation, um, you would be if you would need you would need to do maintenance on like the outside of the ship sometimes to make sure that it's still all good, you know? <laughs> um So it would be pretty important, I think, to know how to go into the water. Really land land, land. oh my god, it's just from some rock. Okay. I like how they like fast forward when I fast forward the dialogue. Okay, don't vanish this time. So much Yay! Rock. Real rock. Bumpy and slightly warm and Yes. It's pretty important because they're actually okay. leading the way, so that oh, I would have been very distracted oh, without Wii someone to follow. It's just that the fedora. It's all metal. It's not real ground. I've never walked on anything made of real rock before. Okay. <laughs> would you like some? What? I mean, yeah, we're supposed sure, to take samples. Thanks. Walking on it is kind of. Then you could always have your foot on a rock. Thanks, Wii U. Soon we'll get there. Wow, we're nearly there. I can't quite believe it. There. Where? Wherever there is. Wow, what's gonna be there? It's so cool to finally be here. I still can't quite believe it. It's exciting not knowing what I'm going to see next. It could be anything. He really just I'll stops. He just never stops talking. It is. And what? Are you okay, Howell? Howell? This oh, God. Is your home? Well, not my. Our. Our place. <sighs> Come on. We're not there yet. More to see. We're not there yet. So this is the cave. It's But there's wow. no one else here. Magical. So much space. Wee. What is everything? Where do you get food? What are your jobs? How does everything work? You'll see. One thing at a time. Right now it just looks like an art gallery, so I'm not like freaking out as much as him. Although it reminds me of like in The Expanse when uh, Roberta Draper goes to Earth for the first time and she's like super overwhelmed by the fact that, that we just have like a big open sky and there's no like domes or anything to keep the air in so it freaks them out like the martians can't handle it you know it's probably what he's going through right now oh hello oh so uh how i've got to take care of something but i'll be back soon oh sure should i wait somewhere yes at the waiting bench Next to this. Cozy. Hello. That means hi there. Oh, but it translated. It might. Tell them I say hi back. Will do. Okay, let's go. 
I love how the other the aliens are just like, yeah, cool, whatever. Like they don't care at all that there's just this weird looking person that Oh. I wonder if it's polite to ignore people here. Maybe I should introduce myself. I don't want to get off on the wrong foot. So, uh, greetings. I offer you human greetings. He's gone. Hmm. Is the translator? <laughs> oh, working? he's bugging. Let's see. The snail glitched out. Hello? Yeah, I'll just see if it Maybe keeps it going. Maybe it'll be fine. I don't know. Uh, Do you know Harold is glitching you? out too. His head is like snapping back and forth. I mean, I haven't known Wii U for that long, but I do feel like we get each other. Same wavelength, you know? I mean, we're not going to well, be able to it talk to it. It was nice so. meeting you. And like Moreau always said, never say more than you need to. Air and time are more precious than extra words. He's gone anyways. Oh. I just hit my head on it. Oh, hi. Opa. Oh, I'm Harold. Nice to meet you. Hi, Opa. Ah, I'm sorry. It was an accident. I'm just clumsy sometimes. No, no, Bruha. Bruha. Oh, they make music with them. The camera. Damn! The camera angles! We're in a music video now, Harold. Hit it! I don't know how. I don't know what this one sounds like, but I can't reach it. I don't know. It's one of those, uh, what are they called? The drum that's like the overturned bowl that's got all the divots in it, you know? Like a hand pan, I think. Oh, I hit that one. Okay, there we go. It's from the... <laughs> it just bashes his head to do it. Are you, gonna, are you gonna stop, or...? No, not a steel drum. Hand pan. It's a... Um... I don't really know if we're just supposed to keep doing this or what, because he's not stopping, so. Okay. Hello? No? <laughs> Can I hit it into that other thing? What is that? That thing. I can't sprint, so I can't like move faster. Okay. I mean, do I just leave or? Oh yeah, task explore the cave. Okay. Um. Uh, this thing. These things are really fucking cool. And it's such a beautiful noise. So that, that's what I was talking about. Hand pen. So I'm pretty sure that's the noise they use for that thing. Okay, so now we just go around and meet people, touch their stuff, I guess. Oh. Oh. Hello. Oh, hello. Data check. 
Ah, uh, did it some more calibration, I think. Dadachum. Oh, Dadachum. <laughs> What's this place? Hmm. Can't understand you. Oh, um. No, they don't have a translator, I'm dumbass. Talking too fast. What in the cave? What in the that cave? What you want. Still talking nonsense to me. Oh, right. Without an earpiece translator, it only works one way. I'll just be quiet, and maybe you'll happen to explain. Wonder if you understand me. It's unusual. Lumbly gloop? Or anything else? Oh, so I can lumbly gloop here. Or. Oh, you do know lumbly. Is he asking me for it? Or offering? <laughs> Sorry, don't know what else to say. This booth is fascinating. But I think I better try it again with Wii U. Did a chick. Dad a chum. Okay, what is this? Anything? No? Let's go up here. Lumbly lube. Okay, we can't go that way. Just kidding. I thought maybe we could go up, but I don't think we're supposed to. It's like constant synth noise that's very discordant is kind of stressing me out. Like if I lived here, I might go crazy. Oh, it's like a little pool. Don't fall in the pool. Hello. Hi. So, um, what are these things? Lupo. What do you say? Uh, yeah, they're not going to be able to understand me. It's supposed to be quiet here anyway. Just sit and gloopo. wonder what gloopo is. Or art. Maybe the things in the nooks? I don't know why you're talking in gibberish, but please, shh. Oh, I guess it's important to be She quiet literally here. said to be quiet. Out of respect, maybe? Shh. Literally said it's, you're supposed to be quiet here, okay? They're the one without the translation, not you. You can understand what they're saying. <laughs> He's like, oh, I guess maybe it's important for me to be quiet here? Where is Wii U? We need help. These people don't understand us. And oh, we're yeah. gonna... Please be careful. It's all very sensitive still at the moment. Okay. He's not very smart. I try, I try not to blame him too much, but he's kind of an idiot. Um, alright, so how do I access my PDA with my... There we go. Okay, yeah, I read these and then we close the game. Oops. Okay. I mean, not supposed to touch that thing. We talked to those people. That person I couldn't talk to. Oh, we didn't go here yet. Okay. Hello, person who still can't understand me, but I'm going to still keep trying to talk to you for some reason. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Oh. Thank you so much. Fish in a bubble. What? The fuck is the point of that? What? <laughs> Why did we do that? Small ones. Nice. Oh, hello there, Ender little ones. Ben, no. I don't. Yes, come on. This way. No. Follow us for ticket Follow us for what? Follow the little aliens. I like their 
little capes that are holographic. They're cool. I don't know. They're probably going to kill me. <laughs> what the fuck? <gasps> oh my god. Okay. Now you stand on the other one. Yep. Stand. Carold, move. Move your ass. Put it to There you go. Um, summoning circle. Like this? What the hell are we doing? Oh, okay. Grab the thing. Yep. Manual labor. All right. Here we go. I don't know. We're summoning something. The drums are scaring me. Why is it so scary and ominous? What is happening? Oh. Dance Harold. Oh, gosh. I hope I'm not being super rude somehow. No, just stay on your circle and wave your arms around. them how bad can it be Am I... are they... is... is this... Is it... what? What do you think is happening? I'm... getting a greeting ritual... badly wrong? <laughs> Congratulations, you're now married. Yeah, right? No. You're just playing around with those cheeky Yeah, I figured it was some kind of game, but... Like, what the what? fuck did we just do? So, I'm not offending <laughs> everyone? And how did we just make a laser? Being polite. But I think everyone is pleased to laugh at the funny alien. Hang on. Do you remember Pineapple Helga? Of course. Such pointy hair. And lovely long shoes. Is it like when the mini yetis did the snowball dance? Yes. They would have kept on doing the tick 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 anyway, but they were glad to have someone new to show it to. Okay. I think I get it. I think I'm beginning to understand a bit about how you all think. Yes. Uh, you'll get there. You sure? Just like when Helga has to imitate a seal to get to the ice cave. Will you? Can I ask you something? Of course. Why weren't the kids afraid of me? It's going to be a lot easier if I just show you around before trying to answer. Come on. Alright, yes, translate for me because I want to understand what the fuck I was doing over here with the fish in the bubble. Hi there. Hey, chick. Hi. Could you give my friend here a little something? Sure. The blue will be okay. Here you go. Oh, uh, will you? Mm, no. Give him the blooper dupe. Thanks, will you? Blooper dupe. This one looks much better. Go on. Looks like literally um, the same. Go on to do. Feed the crowwack. Oh, crowwack. Right there. But, but why are we doing this? Great. 
come with. Come with. Why did you... What the fuck? Is that how I get my own holographic cape that people will definitely not make fun of me for wearing if they don't understand where it comes from? <laughs> Now watch. Oh, trust me, I will. This game is so weird. So we I love it. Tie the uh, crazy, like so, and uh, oh. Then bubble fish. Wow, that's how you fish? Yep, bubble fish. Oh, but I mean, isn't it a bit weird that you? What is weird? Uh, never. <laughs> it was like, uh, that looks like a noose, so... but. Will you? I have a question. And I have an answer. But you don't know what the... It's Tidemo. Not this time it's not. I don't get the purpose of using a fish to make a rope to then catch another fish with? Aha. Uh -huh. You can see why, right? Yes, but things just work like that. Is it a one-time use it's rope not or...? It's how it looks. So what is going on? Hmm. How to explain? Things work in cycles. Maybe having a fish isn't the same as getting a fish. When we turn something into something else, it's not just the old thing and the new thing. There is a thing that escapes. We call it the new min. It is a something that is nothing, but it's important to have. Right. So, something is also nothing, and nothing can be a something? Tidemo. Just like I said. Yep. Yeah, I, follow, I followed all that. Good call. Hello. Oh, no, Wii U. Don't leave me. The broccoli one is following us. See you later, Aki. I can't sprint anymore. This is as fast as we go. Ah, what's this one? Um, well, the zoop soup, yes. Are you hungry? I'm a bit peckish, yeah. Is there somewhere nearby? Right here. Yes, yes, you see. What's happening now? Well, it's... Uh, the result is lumberly glue. Oh, right. Of course. Very tasty. Let's enjoy. Oh, I will. But shouldn't we pay or something? Dadachum. No, we don't really pay here. The food is free? It's not free. Because it's all free. We help each other. Mm. Eventually it all evens out. A society based on barters and trade. Track, anyway. Wow, that's such a simple system. Did a chick. Glad to see you enjoy. Always good to did a chick with a new limb. Oh, I'm not actually a fish. I'm human. By the way, he's saying he's a human. Fish, human, lumberly glue. <laughs> I see. Thanks. I can't wait to try it. Bye. Yeah, ground up fish goop. Let's eat. This looks surprisingly delicious. Yes. It's very healthy because of the minerals in the pond. And the blah and then and what? Yes. Yum. It's good for you. Oh. Are you okay? Oh sorry, will you I zoned out, but I'm super okay. There's just so much that is so super new. Okay. It's a bit overwhelming. Malgaraha. Was that a yawn or a fishy word? Oh. Oh. I thought you were watching the... Well, it's like the way the light reflects from the ripples in the clear water on the cave walls and reminds you of a good time with a friend. A bit like now? Precisely. I see what you mean. It's beautiful. I see something similar in the herbarium sometimes, but I never really had anyone to share it with. This is what friends are for. It's so crazy here, Wii U. Amazing. But so different. It's pretty cool that we can understand each other, at least. 
from? Yes. I think so. But maybe you can't understand a lot of our things. Oh, and you understand everything human? Well, yes. Humans are so unpredictable and complicated. There is almost nothing to understand. <coughs> like... The all-water tube system? I was going to say fizzy bubbles, but okay. And so, you really don't have money here? No. Okay, that's the one thing I really don't get about humans. Well, it's just a trade thing, but you can trade really easily with it. But some people have more than others. Why is that? Um, some people are more important? Remind me what is important. Um, take Moreau. <laughs> yeah, why She's is that? She's than anyone. We all need her science. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, but her science wouldn't mean anything without everyone else to use it. Wee, this is making my head hurt. Harold! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, his two brain cells rubbing together. They are just having the hardest time. Oh my god. This poor bastard. Yeah, explain this thing to me. They said it was okay. Wii U. So what is like this a library place? or something? I really couldn't figure it out. It's a library. What? Yes, I'm so smart. Books. Not all books. Osmosbo. Osmosbo. I'm gonna need a bit more of a translation. Okay. It's just osmosis. So osmos is just knowing. That's the best I can do. And Osmosbo are those jellies. You can just know through them. Wow. So it's like a book you don't have to read. Yes, but I don't really know how they... I mean, how to explain how they work. Okay, cool. So... That's nothing for us to worry about. Come on, more to see. So, what are they doing? Aha. Uh -huh. Just wait. They're building something? Oh my gosh, she said wait. Oh, or maybe it's going to be a kind of game. Very soon now. We're here. <sighs> oh, okay, I think I get it. <gasps> what an amazing sound. It's nice, isn't it? I call it thrum. The, the song? Or the style of music? Well, neither, really. The way we make music is more... in the moment. So, they don't practice? Is it a jam? I thought jam was for your toast. Yes. But it's also the word we use for when music is, um, improvised. Like, made up there and then. Well then, yes. That, with people watching, is thrum. Right. I know, uh, I want to I be able to sit in a spa and it. just learn and by sitting in the water. That'd be cool. I wish we'd brought some. Harold, are you there? Oh, hi, Professor. How are you doing? What? I'm fine. Where are you? Just had some lunch. There's lots to see. Nice. Harold, I'm quite sure there Hamburger? is. Hamburger? But may I remind you, you're not there on holiday. Ah, I know. The particles. I'll get right on it. Speak to you soon, Professor. Good luck, Harold. Don't do anything I would do. Over and out. Wii you. that was Moreau, reminding us to check out the particles. Ah, uh, yes. Right this way.
Here we are. Oh, it's beautiful. So cool. Okay. So the particles just come out of the ground, or what? Can we bring a jar? So what happened to the other flumalum that tried to go down there? Others? Um, what do you mean? Well, hasn't anyone tried going down there before? No. <laughs> it's just uh, there. We know the particles can be used for energy. They're like, no. They come up. Why would we go down? To find out what's down there. See, Maybe you could that's humans. Of particles at that's humans right there. But we don't need We're just like, but where does it come from? I have to wow. see. Okay, so it's never been explored? Well, I suppose there was that one Flemingham kid who explored it. Uh-huh, and what happened what? to him? And what did they say? Not much. He never came back. We assume he's happy down there. <laughs> <laughs> now that I think about it, there was one older flummy limb who went or fell down. Maybe they're still down there together. Yeah, maybe. Okay. I think I'm gonna call Moreau now. We get down there, there's just a bunch of a bunch of fish skeletons. How do you work this thing? Are you shitting me? Is that you? Oh, hi, Professor. How are you doing? What? Don't ask me. Oh my god. Have you found the particles. Hi, Professor. We use says hi, by the way. And yes, we found them. They're coming from a giant hole in the ground. A hole? Can you get down there? Well, we use says a couple of flumalim have been down before, but they never came back. It looks kind of deep. Okay, don't try and go down there, Harold. Is there anyone or thing there with more information on the hole? There is a kind of library, but. There is or there isn't. What's the problem? They don't have books, it's idiot. It's just that the books are jelly. So, go to the library. I don't care if the books are jelly or custard. Find some information on it you can bring back. Okay, Professor. Wish me luck. Uh, I don't know. What if we just cannonball in there? It's more a herald's pace rather than libraries, I think. <laughs> They're just like, there was one kid that went in there, now that I think about it. They never came back, so we just assume he's alive and well. Hanging out down there. Never bothered to wonder if they're still alive or not. You guys don't get hurt or anything? All right, over to the library. Surely nothing will go wrong with me trying to learn from their jelly books. <laughs> Hello again, librarian. <laughs> I was wondering do you have any jellies on the crack with the particles? Hey? What are you saying? Oh, he's new. He says, do we have any jellies about the glowing hole? Oh, I believe so. You may need to test a few. I've not really labeled them. Ah, Chaos. Great. Chaos. So, uh, <laughs> how do I read them? J -C -B it's hard to explain. Just hold one close to your head and be calm. And not try too hard. A bit like how memories work. Okay. Is there any way to know what each jelly is about? Just give any of them a go. I'm sure they're all full of great stuff. Oh, no. Yeah! It didn't like being red. Ryu, can you show me? Uh... Um, it's definitely more fun if you figure it out for yourself. What? I'd love to, but Moreau is probably getting antsy. I think we'd better get back to her before she gets annoyed and puts me on shelf duty again. So, Wii U, how do I read these things? Oh, how Oh, Actually, I can't. 
If it's hard to explain, they, I'll just watch. They can't read. Read. I can't understand the jellies. What? But you explained it to me. Yes. Well, we all know the theory. Oh, that's okay. You know, I'm not great with human books. Half the time, the letters and the words seem to rearrange themselves. Can I just encourage you? Breathe deep. When your mind feels empty, stick your nose into it and remember what's in the jelly. Sure thing. We'll figure it out together. Let's give this a shot. This game is so fucking weird, dude. <laughs> I love it. It is just so weird. What? A fire? Okay. It's so yeah. I love it, but it is just so weird. one tells us anything useful. Okay. Excuse me. Can I read that book that you're standing next to? I guess not. Is there one on this side, or are they all? I'm just trying not to fall in the holes either. <clears throat> Fishies in an aquarium, it looks like. Lobster. Oh, lobster's being cooked. I didn't. That was wild. I didn't like that one. But it doesn't seem related to the crack at all. I don't know. I think that I thought they were like reading the person in the pool, but maybe they're not. Uh oh, he got stuck. Oh no! I clicked on one of the books and he froze. Sad. Oh no! The last autosave was so long ago. No! Oh no! It bugged out. Release me, book. Fuck. The last autosave was like five minutes ago. <sighs> Bummer. Alright, well, there's nothing for it. We just have to. I'll just spam my way through all the voice lines. Oops. Oops. That sucks. Yeah. Uh, what sucks is that I can't sprint in here either. Like right now, I can't sprint. Because that would make this faster, but... There definitely seem to be more bugs in this area than in the rest of it. Which makes sense, because this is the first time that we're also like, the camera is... different, and the environment is all different, and... It's not just the, like, 2D side-scroller type thing anymore. Okay, revisit the library. Can I save maybe here? How do I... I don't even know how to save. Under... It just saves at each... I don't think I manually save at all. I think I can only do auto-saves. Hello again, librarian. Okay. Jellies, what are you saying? Jellies about the glowing hole. Ah, great. So. It's. Um. Okay. Okay, we don't have. Here we go. We get electrocuted. It didn't. Wii U, can you. Wii U doesn't know how to read. I'd love. I think we. So. If it's hard. What? Oh, half the time. Sure. Th okay. Let's give this a shot. That's 
more cooking. I saw rice in a wok, it looked like. Oh, like a stir fry. What's that all about? Does it seem like Why do they have so many jellies so about useful. food? Okay. Um How many of these are we gonna check? Just those few along that wall. Okay, please don't bug out. Okay, so this, I guess the videos play in the same order no matter which ones you pick because this is the lobster one again and the lobster gets cooked, yeah. These are sad and scary memories for fish, I feel like. That was wild, but it doesn't seem related to the crack at all. More fish. Shrimp. Fish being cooked. Sushi. Oh my god, dude. What are these books you guys have? <laughs> what the hell? A lot of stuff about anemone shrimps, but nothing about the crack. No! He bugs out! Fuck. Hmm. That's not good. Because then I'm going to have to reload and it goes all the way back again. Shit. That one, so it's the circle one, but I don't think that's the same one that I bugged out on the last time. I think it was the triangle one that it bugged out. Oh, he fixed himself. Wait. Oh, he did it. Oh, I didn't even press anything. He just fixed himself. Okay. Well, good. I'll take it. Whatever. Pog. We got saved. Somehow. I don't know. Maybe if we just wait long enough. I don't know. I waited a long time on the first time it bugged out, and that didn't seem to fix that it. That was... So. That was... Wow. Wow. But I don't think it's the one I'm looking for. I think we have to go through all of them is the thing, so... It's good, 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 good. Uh, okay. A horse! Race car! Oh, lightning! Palm trees! Mountains. This one definitely has some interesting stuff about the crack. It does? Okay. Oh, God. Uh, he's just doing this on his own, by the way. Wii U, do you want to try and explain? You should try. I'll practice. Ah, okay. Um, excuse me, librarian? Hmm? Me? Could I possibly take a bo I mean, a jelly? He says he wants a jelly. You may, but you will have to treat it with utmost care and find a suitable vessel to transport it in. Oh, okay, and where might one... He asks where to find such a vessel. You could begin by asking around town in case... Oh wait, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> like it's just a plastic oh, bag. <laughs> he says thanks. Well, I got that part. <laughs> it's just you have to treat it with the utmost care and find a suitable vessel to transport it. And never mind, I've got a plastic Wait, bag right here. Professor, I managed to find a jelly that. Harold, what did we discuss about you not being on holiday? No, no, Professor. The books here are jellies. You have to. Well. Anyway, I found one, and I had to kind of sniff it, and I have info on the crack. Harold, I know you're excited, but please can you stop <laughs> talking such nonsense? I'm not. That'll be ten the, cents. The librarian says I can bring the jelly back to the door. <laughs> Just in the bag. Just bring the thing back, and we'll try to make sense of it. And you. We'll do, Professor. Back shortly. It's getting late. Let's go to my place to relax. That sounds fun. But 
How do you know what time it is? Mm, can't you feel the magnetics? The, the what? Feel how? Oh. Well, the slight changes in the glow combined with the slight heaviness we feel in our toes because of the lateness. Okay, I mean, that's crazy cool, but I don't think it's going to apply to us humans anytime soon. Shame. Well, I feel it's tea time. You guys have tea too? Or did you just learn that from us? Nautilo. Meet Howl. Ahoy there, Nautilo. Nice flowers. He says hello, and he likes your flowers. Thanks. But they're not flowers. They're more, uh... They're more like sponges with a hard lower root. They need water, but if they're underwater, they're not sponge anymore. Um... They're very loyal. I think they're great. Enjoy. He's impressed. And he says he hopes you continue to gain pleasure or satisfaction from your continued interactions with them. He said all that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sorry, this translation business is confusing. <laughs> Thanks, Wii U. Anyway, come in. Come in. Nice place. Thanks. My home is your home. Take a look around. Is this coral? Yep. I found it when exploring outside the cave. Like they'd probably say I shouldn't. Why would they say that? We're supposed to be happy with everything here. And I am. It's really swell. But? I think that it's also swell to see other swell things outside of the cave. No one else ever leaves? I don't think so. Wouldn't it be sad if we'd never met? Of course, it'd be. I don't even want to think about it. Mind you, I don't want to think about how we met either. <laughs> and what is this? That's Juna. It's a skull? Oh, it's a friend. Must make for one-sided conversation, but okay. You should say hi. Hi there, Juna. Is that a sneaker? Sneaker. So they have like human fish. I've been wondering for ages. That's an angler. Those are on Earth. It's what made me want to explore further. I wanted to know where it came from. Yeah, it's a sneaker. You wear it on your, well, not your feet, human feet. Oh. Do you want it back? <laughs> I don't mean it's mine. Did you show it to anyone else? No. They wouldn't even have cared. For them, nothing exists beyond the cave. But where did they come from? Maybe long ago, from far away. What? Sometimes we need to get into the waters just outside, but never to go far. How old are they? They just sit around and stay happy. I mean, that doesn't sound so bad. I know. But... Once you know there's more, happy isn't the same, is it? Mm, true. I guess I haven't been happy for a while. But I guess I can be quite good at calm. Is calm nice? I think no calm is the reason I'm no good with the jellies. Yeah, I don't think about it too much. You just have to think, what does it matter? What does what matter? No matter, no what. Ah, uh, I see. Calm is not all the time, but when you sit and forget about yourself. Mm. So I forget I'm Wii U? But what if I don't remember again? Ha, <laughs> I can't say I've ever had that problem. Thanks, Howl. <laughs> I think I can try calm 
He's not good at like saying things. Yes. Like there's way simpler ways to describe all the things that he's saying, and he just says it in the weirdest yeah. fucking way possible. Sleep sounds good. Night, will you? <laughs> She's like, what the fuck is he doing? Sleeping. In my shoes and belt and suspenders like I always do. Wakey, wakey, how wool? How wool? Hmm. Morning, will you? Well, you probably don't have mornings, do you? Mm, not like on the fedora, but... So she can say fedora, but she can't say Harold? How long have you been awake? A little while, but then I had a wander around and a nap. Did you sleep well? Yeah, surprisingly well. Feels so peaceful here. Yes. Always something clanging on the ship. Anyway, come on. Submarine time. Okay. Back to the submarine. Back to... Fedora. No, I just mean like she can pronounce R's and, and D's and L's because she said little. So why does it say Howell instead of Harold? No one calls him by his actual name, I guess. Oh, the snail. never cracks his name. Yeah, I guess. I really dislike when people mispronounce other people's names and then they like don't bother trying to learn how to say it properly. It's so weird to me, like, I'm trying to figure out how they got here, because they're like, Wii U is just like, oh, I don't know, they just are here, and nobody cares about anything outside the cave, but it's like, well, where did they come from? Like, they weren't born in the cave, so, unless they were? I don't know. Harold is very bad at asking questions that I think would be interesting. He doesn't seem to really care about any of that. The heck is this game about? Bro, I don't even know anymore. I don't. We're, uh... Marooned on a ship that is underneath the ocean and has been for many years. Generations, even. Uh... And we're trying to leave. And apparently these fish people have a source of energy we might be able to make use of. Wouldn't be your first choice of alien first contact team. No, he's... He just... Like I said, he's so bad at saying very simple things. Like, he can't even just explain how meditation works. And he's like, well, it's like you forget about yourself. And they're like, what if I don't remember myself? And then he's like, well, I've never had that problem. That's it. <laughs> like, he is just absolute be banana pants. Back to the fedora. Yeah. It'll be nice to enter it not through a filter, though. Huh. Yes. And we'll be back it's soon. It's super with the goofy. What do you think the others will think of it here? Huh. The others. Yeah. D yeah. It is. It's very weird. It's definitely the weirdest game I've ever Professor. played, but it's pretty great. Professor. Yes, Harold. I know you're excited. It's more than that. It's wow. Everything. I mean, 
the jelly books, the beautiful lights. But we used to, and then there were his neighbors. Everyone was so friendly. They had this great way of making bubbles. You don't pay for anything. Please, my boy, you must. I know, I know. But they weren't freaked out by me at all. They were just content with whatever. You could easily just move straight in. Harold! Interesting. Interesting indeed. What? Classic. Cool. When literally Harold, how are you that I'm blind? Tell you. How oh. are you that blind? Oh no. I didn't mean <sighs> He's so he's so useless, dude. He's such a hapless Harold. Oh no, this fucking lady with a Lego square yes. head. <clears throat> Bad <clears throat> ending. I understand. Bad ending. Hello, yes. Put everything in motion. Don't spare the whip. What? No, of course I don't mean an actual whip. Now should get have just locked him up. Yeah, we should have. We should have overpowered him. What? How are they gonna know how to get there? We had to have Wii U guide us there. Oh, great. Fucking humans. Ruining everything again. How do we get Harold a bazooka? Oh, they're making a tube. So now we can just come down here. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I mean, it's not good. I thought we were about to watch like the genocide of all those fish. I was like, ah, oh, they're okay, goners. Wow. Here we are. It's yeah. Been a wild couple of weeks. I mean, and we you. It's so good to finally meet you. It's still not great, but at least oh, at least they're we're just John? like, oh, now we have a tunnel. Okay? That's it, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, it can still happen. Oh yes. It's nothing. Carry on. Oh, if you say so. So we you. I thought I they were going to so like kick all the you. fish out of the cave I'm and like rigid, destroy their art projects oh, okay. and stuff. Right. Well, just so you're aware, I'm sometimes known as the energy bacteria lady. I think it's because I positively grow on you. Oh, I'm great. Uh, I can see we're gonna get along just fine. So is everyone as excited as I am? Sure. Uh, yeah, but we're gonna overthrow all water. Oh, you're wise to be a little circumspect, Wii U. What can you tell us about it, though? It's nice in there. Very Mawagaraha. Very what now? Could you be a bit more specific? You know, this could be the answer we've been looking for. It's like I said in my report, Professor. The Flumalim don't really seem to be curious about it at all. Harold, you wrote a report? Well, just a little one. Powell's right. We really don't know much about it. I think it's probably very nice down there. Right. Yeah, well, go down. okay. Go down. Let me reiterate the purpose up. of this expedition. We know the particles are a source of energy, but they're unstable and decay too fast on their own. Expedition. Yes, Wii U. It's imperative we get down there and take some readings. If we can learn where they come from, and or how they're produced, we might be able to engineer a solution. I hope you have more luck than Cyrus is having. Indeed. In the meantime, Bridget will be leading the mission prep from here, while I continue research from back at my lab. And what shall we do? Oh, you're both essential to the plan. We just haven't quite figured out in what way yet. That's okay. Oh, okay. Just keep yourself available, Harold. We'll let you know as soon as we know something. If you're really at a loose end, I'm sure Cyrus would appreciate some moral support. Okay, well, we'll be around. We, shall we take a walk, check on a few people? Sorry, I've got something else I need to do. Huh? Really? Uh, yes. Sorry. Oh, sure, it's just that... Yeah, sorry. I just got used to having you around. 
But you're right. I'm being silly. You go do your thing. I'll catch up with you soon. Oh, yes. I'll come and find you as soon as I'm done. Okay, let's get to it, everyone. Harold has separation Exciting anxiety. Times. Just one second, Harold. What's up? No easy way to say this. Buddy has moved on. You mean, he's finally retired? Who will deliver all the... No. I mean, he's left us. The mailman. He died, Harold. Oh. My mailman friend. Oh, buddy. I know you two had become close. Damn. I'm sorry. He was a ray of light, always running through the dark halls of Fedora. There'll be a funeral and a memorial run in his honor back on the ship soon. I'll be there. Oh, buddy. Was it? Yes. Peaceful. Professor? Yes, Harold? Nothing. Sorry, it's just... I mean... Say no more, Harry. I know. Now, let's get going. Sad. Buddy's funeral. Bummer. Run away from your feelings, Harold. Um, okay, so they built a 2B guy somewhere. I think behind me here. Maybe I don't see it yet. So, oh, no, this is where we played Tick Tickety or whatever. Um, so how do we. I forget where we are. I go around this way. Yeah. That way, and then to our right. This, like, red wall looks like someplace you're not supposed to go. Oh, there we go. Wait, how the fuck did we get here? Okay, you know what? I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'm sure we'll be back and forth a couple times. They just did this to make it easy for us to go back to the ship and all. So we don't have to use the submarine every time. Deep Fry, thanks for the eight year resub. Welcome back. Thank you so much for the eight years. What's uh, going on, everybody? Oh, this is the funeral. Just right here in the middle. Okay. Brawler, thanks for the 61 month Hola, resub. Louv, thanks for the 110 months. It's fallen to me and to Marb, say a few words. Thanks for the 51 month resub. Buddy and I would often share a jog together. And despite his age, he would always give me a run for my money. On our jogs and often afterwards, over a refreshing fish soup and cold beer, I came to realize something. Buddy was like the lifeblood of this station, surging up and down its corridors, delivering information, keeping everyone connected. It's going to be a colder place without him. Buddy left me instructions that I shouldn't ramble on at his funeral. <laughs> but instead, I should play a video that he'd prepared for the occasion. Is it running? <laughs> yep, you're good to go. Hi, everyone. If you're watching this, uh, it means I'm not around to deliver your mail and whip you all into shape in person anymore. I didn't want to trouble anyone with writing a long eulogy, so I recorded my own. My life wasn't much to write home or to anywhere about. I grew up while we were still floating around in space. Life wasn't much different, really. If anything, there's more to see out of the windows now. After we crashed, I think people felt sad that we weren't going to see new worlds. But as I got older, I realized that each person aboard the ship was a world of their own. So I became a postman, and it meant I got to visit lots of new worlds every day. Cute. Of course, back then we didn't have the tube system, so I had to be a bit more creative with how I got around the ship. 
especially the broken bits. It made me realize the importance of staying in shape and being flexible. Where the body goes, the mind follows after all. And so I wanted to leave this little collection of personal fitness and mind healthiness tips so that even when I'm gone, I keep delivering smiles to you all. Oh, one last thing. I've arranged for my ashes to be delivered to the seas of this planet that has become our home. That way, some little parts of me will always be moving. <sighs> Was that okay? Yep. <laughs> Just fine. <laughs> okay. Now, let's get moving. Take a deep breath. It's time to shake off those cobwebs. Yeah, touch your toes. Touch the sky. Touch your toes again. Punch the air. Cute. So funny, man. Told you, this game is bizarre. The all water tube system will shortly be closing for the night. Oh, Please attend vanished. to the necessary travel arrangements. Get home safe. We go home. Rest in peace, buddy. Old buddy, old pal. Alright, so this is where we, we have been. If you're just joining today, this is where we have been for you know, most of the game so far. Um, this is where we live and work. Um, how would I write the, how would I rate this game? I would say out of like the indie, what is that? Out of the indie games I've played, I would rate it pretty highly. Um, there've been a couple bugs, which sucks, but they haven't been like that bad, really. Um. Oh, a package. Is it Buddy? Wait, this looks like Buddy's treasure trove. What the fuck? Why could he have wanted to leave it to me? Oh. Not the package so that had letters. Buddy in it. But why? Oh. I'm too tired to go through all of them and figure it out now anyway. I'll try tomorrow with a fresh head. No way. I wouldn't be able to sleep. Are you I kidding? I you to prove of me pacing myself. Right, Buddy? <laughs> he gave us the leftover mail, yeah. So he's like a maintenance guy slash um, the professor, the old lady with the white braid, is like a scientist, and so he's kind of like her assistant, um, but he's not really very good at stuff like science. <laughs> he's just, he kind of does a bit of everything, like errands and cleaning and fixing stuff. That's why he wears this like tool belt. Our main thing is like helping the professor with stuff. Whatever she wants. Uh, nope, I'm gonna read these. Okay. Time to see what all this is about. Oh, the top one is addressed to me. From Buddy. Hey, Harold. Aww. If you're reading this, then, well, it's because I'm not around to tell you myself. These are the remaining letters. I wonder what the recipients would think if you delivered them after all this time. 
Of course, you may have to read them in order to figure out who that recipient is. Aha! Uh -huh. As you can see, the addresses or names on the envelopes were damaged or obscured A puzzle. somehow. And don't worry about getting into trouble. According to paragraph 18.5... See, look the at the one. I told you, the triangle. In the event that the it looks like a one. Or, uh, official, I mean, it, that's a that one. Me, and it's, it's like a... They may designate a junior as delivery proxy. I hereby designate you. By the way, you can deliver them in the same order they're arranged in the box. I took the liberty of organizing them for maximum transit. But you don't know where they're going. Hope you enjoy this little taste of what I had so much fun doing. Now get those knees up high and deliver some joy. Your distant pal, buddy. Mother-in-law's German, she writes once that way. Yeah, we were talking about it yesterday. Um, just about how different people right. write different numbers. Or the same number, but in different ways. Deliver letter to Moreau. What, we're not going to read the letters and try and figure out who they go to? I thought it was going to be a fun puzzle. Okay. Gelatinous like substance. Contains knowledge, but ambiently. This is not how I expected learning an alien language to go. She's putting it in a blender? Oh. We're supposed to be careful um, with those. Professor? Perhaps if I liquefy, I may imbibe the knowledge. It's already liquid. Must test ingesting. It won't be poisonous first. Professor, that's not how. Oh, Harold. Oh my god, what she's fucking say? blending their books. About the books. You don't really read them. They have something to do with your state of mind, not their physical state. Whatever do you mean? Well, just with fucking listen to jellies, me. With <laughs> you have to be really calm. Empty your mind. Then you can get a sense of what's inside. She can't empty your mind. So, you're saying it's a transcendental meditative sense memory absorption process? Yes. Sh sure. Exactly. That Here, is exactly what it is. Let me show you. Fascinating. <laughs> Assuming you're not pranking me. I'll try it. Hopefully, I'll be able to research them more thoroughly now that... Is there anything else you need help with? No. But I bet Cyrus would appreciate a helping hand. Or some company cooped up in that little room. Good idea. Just don't... Yeah, I'll don't inhale. Enjoy the jellies. Wait, we have a letter for her. Find something to do. But don't we have a letter for her? Professor... I've got a bit of mail for you. Oh, thanks. Just put it over there with the rest. This one is kind of different. And how do you know that exactly? I'm delivering it for Buddy. It's from Cyrus. From a long time ago. What? Give it here. Let me see. To whom it may concern. That's you, Moreau. I'm writing to formally oppose your newly proposed archiving protocol. The archiving club has operated perfectly well for months using the Arundhati indexing protocol. Implementing no, a new one now dead. will set back our archiving efforts considerably while we adapt to the new system and re-index the existing archives. Furthermore, I'm afraid if you continue to suspend working with the existing index in a misguided attempt to brute force your own way and to suddenly claim how much better it is as proof the ends justify the it's just means, the mailman that passed. I may be forced to report this matter to the school council. I look forward to resolving this matter amicably and returning once again to our concurrent archiving efforts. Orderly yours, Wait, Cyrus. why didn't he... If he knew who it was Oy. to and who it was from... That's what he thought. Then why didn't he, he ever deliver it? I snubbed him at the time. <sighs> Surely he doesn't still remember that. Huh? Well, either way, can you believe how long we've been carrying on this little grudge? Oy vey, we're still acting like kids. Oh, you're not that bad. Huh, thanks, Harold. I mean, for bringing me this. It helped me realize it's time to put aside our differences. To accept that we'll never see eye to eye. Maybe that's why we achieve so much together. Ah, cool. You and Cyrus are a great team. That protocol was inefficient, though. <laughs> See you in a bit. Jesus Christ. He had to read the mail, but he couldn't read other people's mail. What? He had to read the mail, but he couldn't read other people's mail.
But it was open. Oh, maybe we opened it. Like, we just didn't see the process of opening the envelope. I guess. Is why. Um, let's go talk to Cyrus. Like, maybe it was in an envelope that wasn't addressed properly, and then once we opened it, then we saw that it was Moreau and... What's... What's his name? Cyrus. I guess. Sigh? Something like that, maybe. Sigh. I guess I shouldn't distract him. Oh, hey, Harold. Too Sorry, late. didn't see you there. Oh, no worries. You must be concentrating. Yes, can't stop concentrating. Can't make a mistake. Well, there's still a mistake somewhere. The simulation still isn't 100% reliable, and it's driving me nuts. Is there anything else I can do to help? You could give me a back rub. Sigh? You know I would, but knowing my clumsiness, I'd give you a trapped nerve and you won't be able to work anymore. Yes. Yes. Probably for the best. Just wish me luck then. Good luck, Sai. See you soon. Yeah, I didn't realize that it was the address labels that were damaged and that it was not, um, like, the entire thing. And I thought that we, as, like, the player, were going to have to try to deduce where the letters were supposed to go as, like, a puzzle game type thing. Um, and not, like, oh, God, we have so many messages. When meeting a flumul... Oh, yeah, I forgot that I moved my camera up here for this game. Um... The preferred method of acknowledgement is waggling your fingers upright, palm facing outwards. On no account must you perform a side waggle, as this is considered highly rude. The flumulum way of life is wavy and relaxed. Hurrying and scurrying around is considered foolish and certainly won't help speed anything up. Fit in by going with the flow. If you're lucky enough to witness a flumulum play, play performance, the correct way to show your appreciation is by gurgling. Clapping is considered noisome and will risk confusing the play performers. Stay tuned for future cultural liaison updates as we learn more about their fascinating fishy way of life. Harold, have you heard the one about the sad janitor? He's always moping around. Wait, why does it still say four? Oh, maybe, yeah. Oh, I already read that one. Mr. Halibut, all water is pleased to invite you to the public opening of our newest tube route destination, Flumulum Cave. It's hard to read because it's like waving while I'm reading it. Kind of hurts my eyes to read a lot of these in a row. Oh, that one said failure something and I maybe should read that one. You may have erroneously received a dispute resolution invitation recently due to some routine database rejuvenation. If you have already made a deposit to the dispute settlement fund, please get in touch to request a dispute. Huh? Oh, this one. And then... Okay. Alright, find something to do. Gotta be useful, okay? Oh. We're only gonna... You're gonna get one letter at a time? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Just bring the whole box with you. Uh, oh my god, we have to pick up another one. He's gonna do one letter at a time, this fucking idiot. I swear to god, Harold. If I knew him in real life, I would hate him. Be like, what is wrong with your brain? Please, just take the whole box with you. Let's see. Nope, one at a time. Okay. Deliver letter to Zoya. Which one is that? I don't remember which one Zoya is. Um. Oh yeah, the captain. Thank you. Just trying to. I gotta keep all our names straight. All right, so to get there, oh no, we want to go to the tube, and then to the central station. Oh god, we just went outside the tube. Central station. Destination decided. And then the all water Enjoy tube. The view. Yeah. 
You have arrived. Ooh, there's Please exit the tube in an orderly Hello. manner. We hope you travel with us again soon. How are you doing? Hello there. Do you need any help with that? Hi. Yes. This picture shows lots of tubes. Where do they all go? They go to different places. Did you have somewhere specific in mind you wanted to go? We're just exploring. But we don't want to end up anywhere bad. Ah, well, some areas of the ship are more fun than others, but nowhere is bad. What's over in that part? Oh, that's the Agora Arcades. Lots to do there. Have you checked it out already? I think so. Do we need a new ticket to go somewhere else? Which ticket do you have already? Oh, we done. Uh-oh. So, how did you... We had one. So, what did you... I gave it to another limb. They said we should check out the Castle Chop tube line. Oh, to go to the Energy District? No, just to go through the tube line. Do you know if it's a fun line? I would just recommend asking someone else. I'm not much of an expert. Okay, thank you. See you around. Destination selected. Hapless Herald. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. You may now exit the tube. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation for choosing to travel with us today. All right, Zoya. Took the train just to take the train. That's gonna be me if I ever move to Europe. I'm just gonna take the train all the freaking time. Hello. <clears throat> ah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Harold. You just startled me. How is that possible? What's going on for me? Imagine you're sitting at your chair at your desk, and it just starts yeah. raising up to the ceiling Everything with you on is... top of it. Okay. You seem a bit. It's just that, you know, it's. It's amazing that I can be a real captain if we take off. Do you know what you're be... doing? Wow, but I, I kind of thought it wouldn't at all happen so fast. I've, I've got a lot to learn, no one to teach me. You know, something I've learned is that usually what's going to happen is so unexpected, you may as well not think about it. So you're saying I should just relax? I guess so. It's also kind of like you can only do what you can do, you know? Try to forget about what you can't control. Like the ship. Um, maybe don't forget that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I jest, I jest, uh, I think. Uh, anyway, thanks for the advice. I'll bear it in mind. Yeah. I'm going to get back to my research about what all the controls do. Good luck, Sawyer. <laughs> we'll do great. He doesn't even know what the controls are, bro. You got two months how to learn how to fly a spaceship so that we all don't all die. Uh, oh, we didn't give him his letter. Just talk to him. Zoya, I've got something for you. It's crystal in his oh. robe. That's all he yeah, got, man. That's it's yep. Kind of a long story, but it's an old letter for you that never got delivered because of all water's weird rules. Buddy wanted me to finally give it to you. Okay. Odd, but uh, let me take a look. Oh boy, Zoya. We just wanted you to know how proud we are of you. Let me tell you a story about when I was a boy. Oh, that's what Fedora means. Federation of Residents in Airspace. I thought they school. just named it that. Of course. My papa was the original pilot of the Fedora. What a cool job. But what a thing to live up to. And I think I felt somehow ashamed he'd been at the helm when it crashed. So, I decided to do something totally different and get a job in the agricultural district. I didn't know what I wanted to do, and I didn't really know what there was to do. But as I looked after the animals, helping tend the crops, I stopped thinking so much about what I wanted to do. I just did. And as I was just doing, I grew up, I learned, I changed, and then seemingly without any real effort, I felt ready to accept my place as captain. 
I didn't feel forced into it, and I knew what I would do as a captain with no ship to fly. I had to help everyone else have the opportunity I did to grow at their own pace. Being a captain at large, or at small, means lots of things. You may not always be needed to pilot the ship physically through space, but your position is a symbol of hope, of good leadership, a living embodiment of the idea of using skill and courage to move forwards, whatever the obstacles in front of you. Your old Captain Dad. Captain Dad, cute. Oh, Dad, I never knew. I always thought you never doubted your path in life. Shall I leave you be? No, it, it's okay, actually. You know, it, it's funny. You would think not knowing is scary, but now that I know I'm not the only one to have felt like that, it's actually liberating. And, yeah, some things about my dad suddenly make sense now. Like all those weird job manuals he left lying around. I always thought he was trying to hint to me to start working, but I guess they were his way of understanding other routes through life. Thanks for this, Harold. I'll, uh, I'm just gonna have to sit down. You're it's already a lot sitting. To process. Sure. Take your time, Captain at Large. I'll see you around. And good luck with everything. I need to sit. Okay, well, you're already sitting, so that's good. Okay. Pressing the wrong button. Something's weird with my camera. I don't know what's bothering me. Um. So the ISO is like way higher than it was actually set at? I'm very confused. Uh, okay. So, Zoya, letter delivered. Next letter? Alright. See, this, uh, I, I would say this is the one part that I think begins to feel a bit tedious, is when they do stuff like this. Um... I can't just go from this tube back to the lab, grab the letter, and then come right back. I have to go to this, like, middle thing here, so this becomes kind of tedious. You know. Like, this is just filling time that... I'm, like, not really doing anything. I should just be able to take all, like, if there's... Four letters, we should just be able to take all of them and deliver all of them Thank in our own time, like whichever one first. But instead, we have to like go through and go back, go through, go back, go through, go back. And there's not really any reason for this. Like, we could just take all of them with us instead of having to come back every time. Especially if like nothing's changed when I come back here, you know? There was the one time we went through that central station where. We interacted with those fish letter. people, but that was intense. Tommy. Wow. Oh, he's reading it. I see. Tommy. Brigitte. Okay, or Bridget. And <clears throat> now we have to go all the way back again. Country in Europe would I like to live? Uh, well, my partner's from France, so... That's the only one that I have, like, any... See, like, here, if I could just go straight to the all water, that would be fine, I think. Or it would be better anyways, but we have to go to Central Station first. 
to get in the tube to go to the other one. Um, we know you enjoy traveling with all water. You're so welcome. I've been to other European countries, but that's the only one that I have like significant experience with. All water compliments you on your choice of destination. <coughs> Water. We get you where you're going. Yeah, I've been to Germany. Uh, oh, I went to the wrong place then because I was talking. Fuck. See, and that doesn't help when I make mistakes like that because I'm distracted. She's in the utility Traveling district. Style I think. With all water. Yeah, so I've been to Germany, but I don't know enough about Our it to say I would live there. Journey for some reason. Just contact your nearest and all water will make it up to you. No, she's not here either. Wait. Where is she? Oh yeah, wait, the energy. Oh no, and we don't have a mailman anymore. It's gonna be me. Hey, folks. Regret to say I won't be able to make the rounds at the moment. Sorry. And thank you for your continued trust in the Popo Postal Service. Buddy. Sad. Who are you? Where's Sunny? Welcome. Oh, hi. Gunter, right? Sunny isn't in today? Nope. She doesn't work here anymore. I think she said something about starting her own business. Can I help? Uh, sure. But aren't you a bit young to start work? Well, school is closed. They said everyone has to help out. And so I volunteered to work here. Did any of your classmates volunteer to work too? Hmm. Now that you mention it, I'm not sure. Well, have fun. So I can't help you? We haven't tried this door since we found the new password. Or they told us the passwords to uh, stuff. Hello? What's the password? Oh, they gave us... I thought that one of the passwords that we heard that lady Super say we're gonna be the one. we're gonna be the password to that, but I guess not. From Australia and I haven't traveled to another country. It's tough when you're in a country like that where you're so far and like isolated from everything. <clears throat> we talk about that a lot with like um Destination chosen. In the US, it's not very common for people to go to other countries. Which I think surprises people that are from you know, like Europe. You've arrived. Um, you but I think they don't realize how leaving? difficult it is when you live in a country like ours or like Australia. I imagine is similar. Okay, so she's in the energy energy district. That's where she's trying to go. Enjoy the view. You have arrived. Please exit the tube in an orderly Please manner. Help for your we hope you travel with us again soon. Hello, letter for you from Tommy. Oh, she's not here. This Slippy's here. Hello. Hey, Slip. Oh, hey, Harold. Everything okay? The U.S. Oh, has sure. states, Just though. Putting the finishing touches I mean, to the all-important relaunch procedure. Canada has provinces. Basically, all on my own, with no one to help me. Just Other like always. I mean, Brazil has Old states. Slippy with the world on his shoulders. I'm sure you're doing great. Yeah, I'm making the coolant procedure more efficient than ever. It's going to be able to cover a lot of ground. Like me. <laughs> Gotta stay cool, given no one is ever around to help. How about I give you a hand? What? No, what are you doing? Don't touch that! But I, I thought you said... Never mind. I'll leave Stop you smashing. To How you doing? That would be really great. Okay, I was looking for Bridget, but she's not here apparently. Or maybe she's back here? No, no one's back here. Okay. Um... I just mean that, like, when... When... Uh... For example... People are surprised that people from the U.S. haven't been to a different country or don't have a passport because they don't go to other countries. Sometimes people are surprised to learn that. Please halt for your um, Do not try to but, okay, so I don't know where she is, so now we just have to find her? What is Lab District? Have we been there before? 
destination. No, that's where we. Yeah, what? That's where we are. Oh, I'm so stupid. I see, like this, where I just have to figure out where this lady is. I don't even know where she is because she's not at her job. So we have to try and figure out where the hell she is. Where is she? Actually, she was down at the Flumuland thing. Destination determined. Maybe we're supposed to go there. Relax with all water. Because our PDA didn't say where she was, so now we have to try and find her. You're here. Thank you for choosing all water tubes. So I guess let's check if she's there. Let's see. This is what this ends Location up being really tedious and just. This is a kind of a waste of time. It's just story stuff too. It's like not even really advancing the story. It's just background lore. Thank you for traveling with all water. I think if I lived in the U.S., I wouldn't get around to traveling internationally that often. Yeah, it's just, I mean, it's difficult, too. Everything is so far Hello, away. Mr. Halibut. Good to see you. Hello, Mr. Secretary. What brings you here? How are you finding the cave? It's very agreeable. And it's my new posting. I'm responsible for raising awareness and enthusiasm for the new tube station. Like tourism? Well, something like that. We've not had a new destination to tube to in quite some time, after all. In fact, we're running an exciting promotion at the moment. If you buy a monthly ticket, you get a translator earpod for free. And at no extra cost, we'll throw in a personal tracker so you don't get lost in the cave. Oh, that sounds great and all, but I already have an earpod. Ah, but an earpod. An earpod gathers valuable analytics about tube usage oh, good and data. cave exploration per person which we can use to further enhance our cave offering and tourism packages. Mm. Don't you want to contribute to a better cave tube experience for all? Yeah, um, we could do that by I you leaving. I'll stick with the one I already have. Well, I'll throw in a guide if you buy a ticket. I don't need a guide. I'll take a ticket, but I don't think I You need don't need a, a ticket either. What the fuck? I kind of already know my way around. As you wish, Mr. Why are you buying things you don't I'll need? I'll throw yours into the next person's package as a buy one get one free offer. It feels difficult to travel to other countries in the U.S. or Canada as there's only two areas with major transportation of the western part of the country. It makes it difficult to travel to Europe. Yeah, exactly. It's like if you live uh, in New York, for example, on the East Coast, to get to to get to um, Europe, it's like a six-hour flight. And from the West Coast, it's twelve hours. Okay, she is here. Good. And Zoodle. What's up, Zoodle? Kids, concentrate, please. I... Hey there, Bridget. Right. Uh, okay. Yes. <laughs> Kids, don't let me down. Harold, let's go. Lots to do. Uh, got, gotta do it. Harold? Yes. What? There's much to be done. The workstation is going to need a depth gauge. We'll probably need tubing of various sorts, sonar for the... And of course, thermometer. We'll need a barometer, naturally. And we'll need the computer components to tie it all together. You... you want me to find all of that? What? No, don't be silly. I'm not a monster. I've got the kids helping. It's all under control. Oh, so is there anything I can do? Gee, I mean... Uh... Hmm... I guess you could help me plug in the cables? Great. Let me take a look. Hey, are you working back there? I'm watching, you know. I've got eyes in the back of my head. This I'm good at. Okay, there's one done. Great. Keep up the good work. That makes two. Something I'm good at. Hooray. All good so far? The square plug goes in the... Square hole. Thanks, Harold. You're saving my back. Uh, this one is just a circle. Uh oh. Where does this go? Am I blind? Is there is there another spot that I don't see that I? Because it definitely doesn't go in here. <laughs> uh oh. No, yeah, see what? Some has tape over it, but there's nowhere else to put it. 
Sorry, Bridget. Oh, there you One go. of the cables doesn't seem to fit properly. Oh, hey there, Tommy. Hey, Harold. Don't mind me. We won't. Anyway, what does that Not mean scripted. for us, Harold? Uh, it means we're missing an adapter. Uh, it means my inventory is inaccurate. Tommy, I really hope the adapter wasn't in that last lot of stuff you made me throw away. You made her throw Bridget, stuff away? I didn't make you throw anything away. I just gently suggested you might want never to throw away adapters you never know yes but i'm not going to feel very rational if we can't find it because of your gentle suggestion look i'm sure it's still lying around somewhere in the energy harvest harold could you check there for me please it's where i packed everything up so it's our best bet sure i'll head over positive attitude love it oh while you're there actually we've been having some connection issues with the data transfers packet loss and the like could you look into setting up a better connection? I can try. It's not really my area of expertise. Where's that positive attitude gone? But, um, maybe you're right. Perhaps you could get Rafi to help? I'll ask them. I'll let you know ASAP. Great. Good luck. Cool. See ya, Tommy. Laters. Wait, I have a letter for you. Hey, Bridget. I've got a letter for you. What? Why? Oh, it's a long story. Just... Buddy asked me to, okay? Oh, sure. If it's kosher with Buddy, it's all right by me. Let me see that. Dearest, brightest Bridget, thank you for your letter. I understand. Honestly, I do. But I have to write you this letter anyway. One last appeal. I will give you space. As much space as you need to grow into whatever beautiful flower you need to be. In whichever way you need to bend towards the sun. And my love will burn as bright. But I know it will not be what you grow towards. It will just be there. But of course, ultimately this is your decision. My declaration of love is not a question. It's just there. Like the fish in the sea that don't even know they're in the sea. It exists without knowing why or needing anything else. And I will be happy to love you, whatever comes next. Just let me know if you decide to have this love next to you while your own self-love grows too. Tommy. Huh. He took it well after all. You changed your mind? You read this? Uh, I had to just look to know who to deliver it to. The front was all blurred. Maybe Tommy got too many tears on it. Ah, uh, it's okay, Harold. This is old news, eh? And it all worked out. I came to realize a few things about love myself, and told him we could try being together, but apart. Not too much the same person, you know? So, he maybe thought his letter had helped? That would help explain why he never stopped so much with the grand gestures. Huh. <laughs> I suppose so. Will you tell him? I think I will. You're never too old to learn nice. something new about love. Okay. Um. Don't talk to the kids. They're mean. All right. Rafi is in the arcade. Uh, probably one in the energy harvest. I don't know what in the energy harvest means. Um... And we need to find a letter. I don't know if it's like in the energy district, like in the lab thing. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll check. Carodactyl, thank you for the 69 month resub. Welcome back. Thank you so much for the 69 months. Appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. We know you enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. Mm, okay, so let's try the energy district for. She said energy harvest. And then we need to go to the arcade for Rafi. You on your choice of destination. All water. We 
get you where you're going. I will try to taste the disinfectant. Please halt for your exit disinfection. Okay, he got his machine in here. Hello. Harold, my boy, come here. How's it going, Slippy? Good, good. I'm nearly done. And it's looking great. Say, have you seen an adapter lying around? Harold, I'm sorry, but does it look like I have time to be looking for adapters? I suppose not. In fact, I could do with some help. Oh? I need to finish hooking up these tubes for some tests. Right. So, are you going to help me or just stand and watch me suffer? Are you going to ask nicely? Sorry. Sure. I'll help. Great. We need to connect right. both the I tubes at the same no. time, okay? Great. I know. Do I just do it? No, oh, I can't do it. Oh, no, we can. He's not saying anything, so I don't know if I'm... What? All right. Well, good job. All right. Thanks, Harold. I thought he was gonna Glad give to us, like, a countdown totally or something, but alone. he just did No problem, Slippy. <laughs> Good luck with it all. Oh, and can you keep this little episode between you and me? I don't want Madam CEO breathing over my shoulder thinking I need help, okay? It's okay to need help. Um, filter Frankie. Tell no one, bring snacks. Oh, <gasps> wait, filter Frankie isn't the, isn't Wii U? I thought this whole time that Filter Frankie was Wii U, but it's a different person. Welcome. Please submit to a gentle disinfecting. I just assumed that it, yeah, I just assumed that was, okay, wait, where are we going? Focus. Back to the lab. We're going to the filter. With all water. The plot thickens. Yeah, Filter Frankie is a different person. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason. Just contact your nearest and all the water will make it up to you. I wonder if we'll ever find out about Microwave Boy. I don't I feel like we're not going to at this point. Hi Cyrus. Bye Cyrus. I said bring snacks. I don't have I hope we have snacks. I don't know. I'm just going for it. Hello? Hello? Filter Frankie? Are you there? It's me, Harold. I know who you are. We're the same, you and I. Tommy! We are? Yes. Drawn to the dark, the damp, where the outside it looks world like Tommy. can leak into this place we call home. Who? And we both love digging around in filters. Hey, Harold. Tommy, but... I know, I know, but... You know what people would say if they knew what I did down here? I guess, but... They'd say, oh, that Tommy, what does he get from digging around in those filters <laughs> when he could be minding his shop like a normal shop guy? Uh, I'm not sure they'd say those exact words. Yeah. Anyway, I was torn, pal. Pal? Didn't want to cause you any moral dilemmas. But I'm always telling Bridget what a hoarder she is, like she said in our little argument in front of you. So when I realized how important that adapter thing was, I combed through the rubbish filters and found it. Oh, I see. So you didn't want to admit to her it was kind of your fault. But then, why not just give me the adapter as Tommy? I thought about it. But Filter Frankie can get lonely, you know? <laughs> And then I realized, who better to share his secret than you, a fellow filter aficionado? I'm honored. You've kept his identity secret for so long. But it got quite tiring, sneaking around, acting shocked at the rumors. 
There were a few times you nearly discovered me, even. Still, our little secret, eh? Filter Frankie technically operates in the shady side of the law. Tommy, Frankie, your secret is safe with me. You're a good lad, Harold. Filter Frankie remembers his friends. Here's the adapter. <laughs> Just don't tell Bridget I mean... where you really found it, huh? Thanks, Frankie. Tommy, I won't. I feel like... See you around. You know, living in this weird submarine... <laughs> living in this weird, like, submarine thing under the water on an alien planet, I... I guess it's not that unexpected for them to be, uh, a little touched, you know? Okay, while we're here, I'm gonna grab the other, the next letter that we're supposed to deliver. He just fucking crouched down. It's like Michael Scott. It's like, oh, they can't see me anymore. I just crouched down. A little quirky, a little wacky, a little weird. Okay, letter time. They're all very interesting. All right, pick up the next letter. Who are we taking it to? Rafi. Oh, perfect. So we're supposed to go see them for the other thing too. Nice. Okay. See, now that we've got more stuff going on, this feels less tedious. But the first couple, I was like, man, we're just walking around, not doing anything. We got to meet Filter Frankie. We got the adapter for Bridget. We got to go to Rafi at the arcade. Um, for the letter and also for other stuff, so. Destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all water tube system journey. All water tube system journey. You've arrived. Have you checked your pockets before leaving? Oh, oh here's, uh, Sunny. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Hey, Sunny. Hey, look who it is! Huh? Who's there? It's you, silly! You heard rumors of the irresistible new Soleil sweets, eh? Hmm? You mean these cupcakes? Wow, they're really colorful. Yes, they're full of that sunny cheer. That's great, Sunny. I'll try one. What's your best seller? Um, well, that's very relative. What do you mean? So, I sold like 10 Starburst Royales at the start, but, uh... I'm sure it's just a matter of time until word of mouth gets around. <laughs> oh, I'm sure business will pick up. There's certainly eye-catching enough. I tell you what it is, Harry. It's water wieners. He's got the best spot, and I guess no one feels like a cupcake after a wiener. No? I suppose that doesn't sound like an appetizing combo. I just feel like, you know, the Dorans need a change and a little color in their lives. And I bet the Flumi Lim would love a chance to try water wieners. That's a good idea. Have you suggested it to him? Me? No, I, I mean, I don't want him to think the competition is unfriendly. But if a neutral third party was to suggest it to him, then who knows? Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, no, I I'm no good at... Come on, Harry, please. It'll be good for him. Good for me, the Flumi Lim will love it. Just plant the seed. For me, for, for old time's sake. Well, I am peckish, and if the topic comes up, I do like the cave, so... Ah, I knew I could count on you. Here, have a complimentary Starburst Royale as a little thank you. Well, thanks, Sonny. <laughs> Just put that in my pocket. Hi there. <laughs> Welcome to Excuse Warren's you. Water Wieners. What will we be wanting? Look is a water wiener what do you also. Recommend? Sounds well, weird. Well, I'm personally partial to the toasted seaweed worst, but the sizzling tofu dog is amazing too. Excuse oh, you. They both sound great. The I hell? bet the flumalim love the seaweed one, huh? <laughs> yes, I imagine they would. I'll take a seaweed worst, I think. 
Mm-hmm, a fine choice. So, business is good? I certainly can't complain. Glad to hear it. You know, I've been looking forward to this. I've been in the cave, very hungry. Not much fast food there. Oh, really? Well, I hope this is worth the wait. Sure it will be. I almost feel bad for those in the cave who can't easily have some burst. No, oh, that's nice of you. Yeah, I mean, the cave really would be a great business opportunity. If I could cook, I'd open a worst stand there myself. You should learn. It's very rewarding. Here, it's ready. Tuck in. Thanks. <sighs> By the way, have you been to the cave? I made a quick visit. It was great. Okay, okay. Well, I'll be getting back. Oh, could you do me a favor and try one of... Hang on. Did you say, do me a flavor? No, actually, I said... Do you a new flavor? I bet they have some pretty unique ingredients in the cave. I could even invent new relishes or entire new wiener recipes. You've given me a crazy idea. Really? Yes, I'll move to the cave. It's a great business and creative opportunity for water wieners. Maybe I'll finally be able to achieve my dream of a wiener that captures the essence of new horizons. You... you should totally go for it. Guess I'll see you there, Warren. Thank you again. I owe you a free wiener. Okay, well that was easy. <laughs> Hello, somehow it worked. Well, did you manage to convince him? Yeah, somehow. I actually did, I think. Either way, he'll be going to the cave soon. Oh, you're the best! I just know that tomorrow these little beauties will be flying off the carts. I hope so. But don't worry, I'll save one for you. No. I mean, no, that's okay. I've already got to try one. You should save them all for new customers. Oh, look at you being all noble. Thanks again, Harry. See you soon. For now, I've got to get started on the biggest batch of Moonlight Rainbow ever. <gasps> all right, great, now let's go to Rappi. Hello again. What's up, Janet? Rafi? How are you doing? Hmm? Have you got a minute? Probably. Hang on. Um, I have a favor to ask you. We need a better connection in the cave. The workstation. It's really important. The cave? Yeah. We're trying to mount an expedition into the crack. Sounds fun, but not for me. I know it sounds difficult, but it'd really be a big help to everyone. No, it'll just be like last time. What was the last time? Oh, he didn't tell you. Who, who tell me what? Slippy. He asked me to help him with this ski machine. And? I helped. Things didn't work fast enough. He got angry. Shouted. So now I don't do tech help. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It really won't be like that with Bridget, though, and- I'm happy here. Got my cabinets and tunes. Sorry. <sighs> okay, I tried. See you, Rafi. Hmm. Well, I have a letter for you that might convince you. I'm gonna change your mind. Oh, Rafi, I have something for you. Do... I have to take it? <laughs> no, I mean, it's kind of official, but not urgent. Okay, I'll take it. Please find below an addendum to your formal offer letter. We realize that the initial contract that agreed to your counter demands, namely, one, a 100 year period of confidentiality surrounding your work for all water corporation, two, to be credited as the master of circuitry, three, to not be interrupted, talked to, messaged, or otherwise contacted in any way while in the pursuance of your duties for All Water Corporation <laughs> was signed prematurely by an AW employee with insufficient security clearance to grant this request. 
And so we must formally request you terminate the contract in order that we may renegotiate your demands for the period therein, given it may behoove all Water Corporation for some reason to be able to publicly acclaim our engagement of your Raffi Zelta's services. Compromisingly yours. Sandra compromisingly Astor, yours? Water head of recruitment. What the hell does that mean? What is compromisingly yours? Did you... Well, I had to just to see who... Not a word about this to anyone. My lips are sealed. <laughs> But you're still not gonna help us. Okay. <sighs> okay. Uh. All right. Let's go get the next letter. I guess. Oops. No, oh, not that. Wait. This machine is unoccupied. This is the one everyone is always playing. Oh, okay. It's hard on a controller. I didn't realize. It's inverted. Or no, it's not inverted. I expected it to be inverted, but it's not. How do we get the high score in this? I wonder if we actually can. It's so hard when the camera angle... Oh, yeah. Fuck. I keep expecting it to be inverted. It's not. I wonder if it's actually possible for us to get the high score in this. Oh, okay. Well, not like that. How many tries do we get? Or, oh, does it just keep going infinitely? It just resets. You get, like, one life to try and get as many of these things as you can, I suppose. Oh, God. Yeah, see that? The camera angle change fucks me up when it goes to the side. Oh, nope, that one I just messed up. Wish I could control that more. What? I just spawned in and died. I don't know if we can actually get like a high score. I wonder what, because they don't even tell you what it is. Oh, okay. Well, I'm definitely not going to do it if I just keep crashing into the ground right there. I don't know why. It's like I know that it's not inverted, but I keep just pressing the wrong buttons. It's like my brain doesn't understand how to do it. No! What? Fuck. God damn. Okay, that one is bullshit. <laughs> I thought I'm getting spawn camped. What the hell? I don't even have a chance. Ah, see? The door kills me? What door? Oh, the door at the end of the thing. Yeah, I keep running into that. Either I slam into the ground here because I just am pressing the buttons the wrong way. Um, or like this where it goes to the side and I get confused. I'm just going to try and fly straight through. But see how the camera starts to turn? That really messes me up because I'm not controlling the turn of the camera. It's just going on its own. All I'm doing is controlling left or right, up and down with this thing. And when the camera goes like this, I can't I can't see where I'm going at all. I don't I don't have control over the camera moving. Oh god. Oh, okay, those things don't hit me. So the perspective changing messes me up sometimes cuz oh. I have no idea how high I am. Yep. See, I, I don't know how you're supposed to play that <laughs> without wanting to just Psst, Harold. Hey, break the machine. Felix, what's up? The password is Flatfish. Oh, hell yeah. The, the password what? Oh my don't God, Harold. Tell anyone. Don't be late. <sighs> tell anyone what? L late for what? Where? Felix. Harold, you're so dumb. Put two and two together, my guy. Warren, shouldn't you be leaving? <laughs> Get out of here. 
All right, so we got the password now for the door, even though Harold is not understanding that somehow. Uh, what else do we need to do? Grab another letter and take the adapter back. Okay, so let's grab another, or let's, uh, where is that again? That's in the utility one destination because it's between the pharmacy and the post office it's confusing to me that they call that the utility arrived. one because i would expect that to be the social one and the energy district would be more like the utility one to me destination selected have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day like, a pharmacy and a post office to me sounds more like a social district thing. But that's just the school. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation for choosing to travel with us today. Flatfish. Alright. The door. What's the password? Um, Flatfish? Bad luck. No dice. Wait, what? But Felix told me... What? I'm the password setter for today. I made it Flatfish just this morning. Well, you didn't tell me. Just let him in. It's Harold. It's all the kids. I can't do that. It's protocol. Okay, well, as this week's password setter, I'm telling you, it's Flatfish. Okay, password updated. Uh, so what's the password? Flatfish. Nope. What? But... <laughs> ah, just messing with you. Come on in. These fucking kids. What are you up to? Welcome to I knew it. Keeper's official headquarters. The huh. kid with the hat on what? the right is the one that was in You're the bathroom. Not the light keepers? We are. That's us. Pretty cool, huh? All the graffiti? The stuff with the rock? Yeah, the graffiti that stuff all also. You Fuck you guys. Hey, we're not kids. We might not be quite as old or as tall as you, but we know what we're doing. Wow. Is this all of you? Pretty much. You're the first older member we've invited. Well then. Thanks for inviting me to the club. Ahem. <clears throat> Not a club. We're an anarcho syndicist hacktivism collective. Oh, of course. Anyway, how can I help? Well, whatever you do, just bear in mind it'll probably go unnoticed. Yava, what are you saying? That's no way to motivate the new blood. I'm just saying, that time in the toilet cubicle, I was there for hours and no one ever... Wait, Yeah. that was you? Uh-huh. Hey, 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 everyone, can we get back on track, please? Sure. I'll just suffer in silence as always. Yes, <laughs> we've uncovered some pretty crazy facts recently. Normally, we'd handle it ourselves. But unfortunately, this time we require the help of an adult. One we can trust. Not one of them. That's you, Harold. Me? Yes, They you. trust us. Uh, Yay. Our time has come. The youth trust us. How long us. have we been overlooked by the older yet no wiser of the fedora? Yeah. So let's watch back the footage Harold helped us record. Everyone, shush! Look, this is the important part, Harold. Freeze it there, Felix. Now, enhance. Enhance! Uh, what? And begin the image. Zoom in. Uh, and begin. Okay. Is that? Precisely. Well, it's not very precise. What is it? is it? Well, what's important is that we believe the time on the watch to reveal the true time. That is to say, all water time, as shown in the video, and true time do not agree. <laughs> Hang on a sec. How do you know the watch on the shelf isn't just broken or something? Ha! Huh, we thought of that at first. But look at this. See? This one also shows a different time. It must be this watch she's looking for. Why do you even have that? My grandfather gave it to me. He hung on to it during the big watch exchange. He used to say, What's mine is mine. Ain't no corporation gonna take it away from me, whether they all part or no water. And here we have... Yeah, we really don't know what this bit means. But surely it has something to do with the whole conspiracy. We've been had. They've been pulling the wool over everyone's eyes this whole time. Well, now, let's not... I'm not what following. What kind of conclusion is there, Harold? <laughs> Come on! We thought you were cool. Don't side with the man. We need to reveal this betrayal for the greater good of the station. What betrayal? I don't understand what people are talking about. Even better. I reckon they're doing it for control. First they'll steal time, and then they'll steal... 
And then... Well, I think they're planning something at night. And they need more secret time to finish their dastardly plan. Or maybe they're just... Enough theories. Look, here's the plan. We'll split up into three groups. Due to our long-term relationship with Captain Zoya, it shouldn't be an issue to get him involved. Corey and Eve, you'll go after the Captain's cockpit and take care of getting him on side. Roger! Roger! Your mission is to convince him to put out a diversionary message over the PA. We should get him to say that there's a giant meteoroid heading our way! What? An underwater one? Uh, yeah! I'll leave the detail to you two. Two! She wrong two! CEO TWO. Out of her office. Felix, you'll dash in, grab the package, slip past the... Felix? No, you'll be holding the secretary's door with Harold to stop him from getting involved. Me? I don't know if I should get involved. You're the only grown-up. You're stronger than us. It's a key part of the plan. Don't betray us now, what? Harold. Uh... Lise, you wait in front of the door to Castle Chop's office. When she steps out, do your where are my parents routine. I'll hide behind the plant <laughs> by the door and slide through like a cool gust of wind while she's distracted by your cute misery. Yay! I haven't had a good tantrum in ages. Everyone clear? Roger. 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 Roger? But will this really work? You got any better ideas? I mean... <laughs> I'd probably better not We're just stealing watches from her, right? That's the... Operation Trident of Truth is go. Yeah, I don't think they know what's going on. I'm very confused why they think that the watches mean anything, but maybe they're right and we're just... gonna go along with them. The heist! I do love a good heist. Even if I don't understand why we're heisting or what we're doing. Okay, tube time. Is everyone ready? There's been a hitch. Yeah, Yava's ticket doesn't work. It... they must have changed the system again. It, it was fine just the other day. Well, look, there's no point in standing around blaming people. Wait, who's blaming me? It's not my fault. As I was saying, let's focus on solution. Felix? Well, we could, uh... go through the fence? Ugh. That's your answer to everything. What if we steal one from a passing adult? I hope you're not expecting me to help with that. Oh no! Here comes Gunter. Gunter? Hi everyone. What are you all doing here? Oh, just, we're all going home. Long day of joint studying. Studying for what? Okay, look Gunter, we weren't studying. And we need your help. Ooh, trickery. Plans afoot. Damn it, Gunter, are you gonna help us or not? Well, what is it that you need? Well, these kids on the left are like plan, which will 10 to, to shortly, but 12 years the old. The we one on the right, the tube station of physically, that we can use. 10 to 12 years old. Here you are. Thanks, Mentally Gunter. about 50, so, it sounds like. Where are we going? Not we. I mean, we, not you. The plan, remember? Oh, yes. And when was this nefarious ruse concocted? Um... Um, it all started a few weeks ago, uh, in class. Detention. Yeah, we, we had detention. What did you get detention for? Oh my god. Gunter, is it? Where do I know you from? You came to the pharmacy, remember? Ah, that's right. How's it all going? Very good. I'm developing quite the taste for public-facing dispensary work. Great. Thanks, Gunter. And remember, secure. Plan. Keep up the good work, Gunter. Secure from what? When are you coming back to tell me about the plan? And my ticket? Oh. Back to work, then. <laughs> poor, poor left out child. Thank you for choosing all water juice. So sad. Okay, what am I doing? Something about holding a door? Okay, the light keepers are assembled. Let's go! You're with me, Harold. Come on. Okay, Corey, you remember the plan, right? Of course I dig it! Okay, I'll be good cop. You're the bad cop. Can I be the bad cop? <laughs> Harold! Are you having doubts? No, I'm literally right Corey here. Help me with the door! Oh my god. Oh my god, Bella Chow is playing. Ah, Bella 
the chow's playing because we're doing a heist. That's cute. <laughs> this game is so weird. Mr. Captain at large. Oh, hi, kids. I do wonder how many references I've missed Listen, because I didn't. Pug, we need you to make an announcement. Uh, uh, <clears throat> sorry about my rude friend here. What she's trying to say is that if you help us, well, we'll make it worth your while. I have no idea what you're insinuating, offering and or threatening, but I'm kind of busy right now. So if you could just... There's no time! It's true. <laughs> this is a matter of urgency. We've been sent by Moreau to inform you that the radio boy has picked up signals of a meteoroid heading straight for us. A meteoroid? Underwater? We're all gonna die! <laughs> I mean, it doesn't sound likely. Why would she send you to? Simply put, we can move fast and without alerting and panicking people. Okay, but if you announce Why that there's a meteoroid, so isn't that gonna alert well, and panic everybody? What are you waiting for? <laughs> okay, I'm just... Uh, I've got to be mentally prepared. You know, if we don't want to raise suspicion... Hang on a second. If we didn't want to panic people, what am I making an announcement about exactly? Um, just tell everyone that there might be big turbulence soon. Nice, fast thinking. Nothing to be alarmed about, but to stay inside until further notice. Good thinking, good thinking. Okay, it's Zoya time. Gosh, how frightening. Just gotta stay calm. Okay. Okay, I I I'll start the tunneling system right in the... Oh. What's wrong? Um, I think I just activated the ship's flight controls. Oh no, that's not supposed to happen. Oh no. Oh god, there's a fire. There's a fire. There's a fire. There's a fire. What is going on here? Uh. Okay, get to the CEO's office and I'll hold him here. Go. Oh god, there's a fire in our little ship that's contained. Somebody put out the fire. That's important. Jug of water. Nope. Okay, we're just going to let it burn. Yeah, that's fine. Hello. They do all show the same time. CEO Hasselchop, we hereby present our findings and let your conscience be the judge of their veracity. What? I know I promised to keep an open door policy, but I hardly think it extends to rambunctious children. We're not kids. Well, you're certainly not all water employees. Unless you'd like to be. No. We're here to say we know your plans. What plans? Here is our theory. Deny it if you can. Well, hurry up and get it over with then. I've got work to do. We know we were onto something when we noticed Yavi's watch wasn't slowing down, but didn't match up with the official time. So we made a secret recording of you in your office and realized how badly you wanted that watch back because you were trying to recover the last piece of evidence that all water is trying to steal time. <laughs> how fanciful. But I'm afraid, totally erroneous. I will, however, concede that you're... Fabricating an entertaining story and you deliver it with admirable panache. Just what do you suppose I'm doing with the stolen time? Maybe taking the time for yourself? Uh, Felix? I mean, how would that work? Don't defend her, Harold. Maybe all you adults are in on it. Try to regain your youth. I didn't know I'd lost it. What? How old are you anyway? I'm in my 20s. Wow, I'd never do that. <laughs> Come on, how old are you, really? But you're so grown up y. <laughs> hey, I'm not. Well, he's at least 40. My age. Yeah. Uh, can we not focus on my age? <laughs> yes, Miss Castlechop, stop trying to deflect our attention. Oh. You see right through me. Okay. You want to know how it really is? You children have totally misunderstood a fundamental principle. That is, that the Fedora is undergoing a ship-wide energy crisis. If you'd have stopped for a minute to consider that, you may have reasoned the following. The all-water tube system benefits the public. Everyone loves their individualized mobility and would never submit to having those liberties curtailed. So we can't balance the energy budget there. Shortening daylight hours was the next option. Mm. But even if people would theoretically agree to that, They'd keep the same routines and use even more energy by keeping their own nights on. Mm -hmm. So we had to shorten their routines. A few seconds. Just a few minutes every few years, you understand. But it adds up. And we had to keep it secret because it sounds like another curtailing of freedoms. Now we're slowly balancing the energy. People have a better work-life balance. And they're getting more sleep, thus 
being happier and healthier too. It's all in the name of making the ship and its citizens happier and ensuring maximum freedom. So it is a conspiracy, but oh, I see. it's kind of not but bad, what about, honestly. I mean, bah! When you put it like that. So now you know the importance of being grown up. I'll be taking this. What? And you'll what? You can't just steal that. That was her grandpa's, wasn't no, it? We know the truth. It will all come out. <laughs> just try it. See what the grown-ups think of your absurd theories. But why don't you... Out now! Secretary 24? Whatever are you doing? Oh, nothing for you to worry about, Madam CEO. We had a small incident. It's all taken care of. <sighs> we need to go back to the hideout, regroup, and figure out our next course of action. Yeah, and get some snacks. And maybe a nap. But time is of the essence. There's nothing we can do right now. And we can't all be seen together. Does this mean me, too? Sure. You're one of us now. But I do have other things to do. Yeah, let's split up for now. See you all back there. Godspeed, light keepers. Order! Order! Now that we're all here, we need to decide on our next course of action. We've got I to mean, expose them. Whatever Castle Chop's explanation, people need to know. Yeah, to man. Work. Let the people make their own minds up. Information wants to be free, you dig? But what can we do? I'm not sure. It's not like people listen to me. We gotta go big. Bigger than ever before. No. From what I've read about such matters, a small, well-placed anonymous suggestion is more powerful. We need legitimacy. What if we mount another secret mission? Yeah, because our last one went so well. What about pamphlets? Oh, we could tell the truth through catchy bee poetry. <laughs> Hello, Fedorans. Tonight we bring you an unscheduled but nonetheless timely announcement. Is she going to tell everyone Before the truth? Before I hand over to our all water press secretary for the full details, I'd like to assure you that I very much feel, agree, and or condone what is about to tell you all. And I regret that it came to this. This, the following, which he'll follow up with now. Thank you, Madam CEO. It's my duty to announce that the All Water Corporation owes you all an apology. Certain details of the past watch and clock replacement scheme have since been discovered to have not met with our rigorous All Water public facing customer okay, engagement yep. protocols. Those unfortunate past mistakes, which were mistakes at the time on our end, but that no one probably noticed, but meant we could theoretically have handled it better. Deserve to be made up to you. To prove our sincerity when it comes to taking responsibility for our past, accidental and good-natured mistakes, the person responsible has offered their own resignation, which we accepted only reluctantly and at their great insistence. We'd like to remind you that All Water continues to dedicate itself to your well-being and satisfaction 24-7. Or perhaps it would be simply better to say, always. No matter what the time technically is. We will do better in the future. That's a personal promise. Thank you all for your time. Until next time, we hope you enjoy all Yeah, they didn't say anything. All of the time. <laughs> well, they didn't even explain what they that, did. Then. What? Isn't that a good thing? We've got them running scared. What? What did half of that even mean? That's some jive talk. It was so vague that it kind of covered everything. Uh, it's very clever. It preempted and deflects anything we might do. Checkmate. Oh, well, you know, gang, we gave it our best shot. We kept on fighting. Yeah, and it was real swell of Harold to help. Yeah, we dig that, hate you, man. Sorry, everyone. I need to sort something out. Anything we can help with? We kind of owe you one. Oh, thanks, but no, it's okay. I've just got to reply to Bridget. We're having connection problems. Did you ask Rafi? Yeah, but they said they couldn't help. Well, you know, we often find all sorts of strange things coming through this garbage chute. Even things that people like Rafi might not want the world to see, if you get my meaning. 
Yeah? But that sounds a bit mean. Oh, it's nothing personal. But we did find an official document showing Rafi's involvement in the all-water clock swap directive. Yeah, it was like, half shredded. Oh, yeah! And didn't the shredder come down the chute the day after? Just take it, Harold. Do with it what you will. We could give him the tape, too. I don't know if I want more sensitive materials. No, silly. It's a rock tape. The kind Rafi is always listening to. Maybe that'll convince him instead. Oh, okay, sure. Thanks, everyone. It's been fun. Keep up the good fight, Harold. Yeah. And we'll be watching. No, we won't be. <clears throat> Peace out. Okay. They had a sign on the back wall that said, We all perish. Man, these kids, they need iPads or something. Time to sleep, but I still have more to do. Oh, the all water district one is out of order now. Destination Not allowed to go determined. there anymore. Now, relax with all water. <sighs> Nothing happened. We just like. Thank you for yeah, she basically made daylight savings water. time in order to save energy. And. That's it. Please attend. <laughs> Get home safe. Location nominated. Journey commencing. All water thanking you. We know you enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. And they made that announcement, which was like not an announcement. They didn't even say who was going to resign. They were just like, we, somebody resigned. Bed. That was a wild ride. Madam CEO just wasn't phased, but I've got to give it to those kids. They're really switched on. Anyway, thanks to them, I can hopefully convince Rafi. And another important day tomorrow. I'm beat. I like that he's got little like art artworks in here now, little paintings and things. God, 44 days left. Any more, more letters? Okay. What have we got here? Chris. All right. Ah, oh, Harold, at last. Professor, you're never going to believe what I discovered about Harold. I hate to interrupt you, but I have serious You hate to interrupt me, but yet you do it I all know, the time. This is cool. I mean, important. If you hadn't overslept, perhaps I'd have time to listen to your stories. I came as fast as I could, Professor, honestly. What the fuck? Yes, yes, as fast as only you could be. Yeah, she's kind of a bitch. Anyway, like, our preliminary external She doesn't listen at all. Is complete. Oh, about the crack. What are they? The crack looks promising. Is uh, is that it? Of course that's it. It's an alien origin source of a potentially miraculous energy. What more do you want me to tell you by just looking at it? Well, you see, it seemed important that you were supposed to say things. Oh, you couldn't even listen to me. All you're going to say down. is it's interesting. I know I'm not that technical, but I've always wondered what it'd be like to explore an alien world. Wasn't it you that made contact and saw the habitat of the first sentient alien race humankind has encountered? Well, yes, but it's really just a cave and the flumalim are so nice. I don't really see them as aliens. It could be really alien down the crack. What is it? Nothing, my boy. I'd love to send you down there. I think you deserve it even. But not without a probe going first. I don't want you to come back as gas or some other state you shouldn't be in. <laughs> and if I know you... Here is a probe. Would you do me the honors? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Can't wait to find out what it tells us. Okay. 
So we're going to have to go back to the cave for Bridget and the adapter anyways. But before we do that, we should go talk to Rafi in the arcade. Yeah, she really, like, Harold, I know, can kind of blather on a bit. But she also, like, doesn't give him space to talk ever. She's like, I hate to interrupt you, but she literally just always is constantly interrupting him and never listening to him, so. All water. Like, Moving people every day. Everyone in this game is very peculiar in their own way, and that evidently is going to be her way. Get you where you're going. All right, Rafi, we have some music and also some blackmail. We had Tommy talking to the flumulum. Oh, Warren's gone. Hello. Rafi? Uh, yes? I've got a little something that I think might persuade you to help. Harold, I'm sorry, but didn't I tell you I wasn't interested <laughs> at all? You did. Okay. But that was before I got this. Is that? Is. Yep. The famous live recording of Mega Twitch at Werribee Sewage by the one, the only, Hutsu Hong Shiny Prize. The only record of it on the station. How did you get this? Let's just say with a little help from my friends. Uh, I guess one of the original Fedora crew also had friends in high places to get this on board. Come on, Rafi. You get the record, and Bridget is cool. I promise she won't shout at you. <sighs> okay. Fine. Okay, my sweet. Mm -mm. I'll be back for you soon. Okay. Oh, uh, hello. Hold it right there, Halibut. Great, now what? Ah, hey, Major. Frank isn't with you? This is official business, and I haven't yet deputized him, so he's sitting this one out. Anyway, I need to issue you a fine. What? But I've definitely not been on the wrong tube. Not tube related. It's come to my attention that you were part of some rabble rousing in the old water district recently. Oh, that. But surely it wasn't actually breaking any rules. Are rules all you care about? You should be a good role model to those innocent children, not filling their head with tales of adventure and rebelliousness. So I should really fine you for improper supervision of a group of minors. But, Major, it was their idea. Don't try to pass the buck. But still, given the CEO chose not to press any charges, and given how busy I am, perhaps I can let you off with a warning. That would be great. I promise to be a better influence on them in the future. See that you do, Halibut. I don't want to hear another troublesome peep out of you, especially with all our new guests around. Thank you, Major. Was that a Beatles Best reference? Behavior. You have my word. I don't know Very a lot good. about the Beatles, so... And tell Frank I say hi. I will. Carry on, Halibut. Before I change my mind. Alright. Is it finally time for us to go back to the cave? Yes. Oh, and then... We had a letter to deliver... Oh, to Chris. He's probably in the social district, I guess, with the school. Maybe we should do that before we leave. Oh, okay, after you, I guess. All water compliments you on your choice of destination. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason. Just contact your nearest uh, and all water will make it up to oh, you. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yep. Never mind. Just kidding. Ciao, Chris. Ciao, Harold. What's that you've got there? Ooh, is it for me? 
Well, yes, actually. It's something old, but hopefully you'll still enjoy it. How mysterious. <laughs> well, hand it over. Let's see what the mystic ways of fate have brought me. Chris, it was a pleasure to speak to you about spirituality, cosmic oneness, the relationship between religion and science. And also, I must thank you for your workout tips. I am already seeing measurable improvements in my grip strength, and that is an astorcy definition. Is that the... I think that it would be a shame to let matters such as this Castle go by the wayside, despite our community's scientific mission and focus. So as promised, please find attached a number of clippings and notes that will hopefully aid you in your search for understanding and a new signature look. Science spiritually yours. From Lecture on Cosmology and Religion by legendary cosmologist Marty Rees. The church is part of my culture, the rituals, the music, the community, and the compassion. And if I had grown up somewhere else, I would have gone to a mosque or a synagogue for the same things, probably. It seems to me that people who attack religion don't really understand it. Of course, bad people do bad things in a good religion's name, but they would do bad things under any name. Science and religion can coexist peacefully, although I don't think they have much to say to each other. <laughs> From the esoteric research article by the anonymous self-confessed mystic stylist, the relationship between both style and spirituality Maybe he's gonna stop wearing his robe everywhere? Explored, much to the detriment of both spiritual enlightenment and personal beauty. Many monastic devotees, for example, who shave off their hair, claiming minimalism and humility as a way of removing barriers to spiritual growth. But why do we associate Jesus with his flowing locks? Looking glam is surely in no way an impediment to feeling glam, the ultimate glam of the universe, the glam that connects us all. Fantastic. <laughs> this is great stuff. I always wonder why she never followed up. So they're all clippings about finding enlightenment? Were you looking for a religion to follow at the time? Well, not a religion per se, but something that would help explain my feeling that there were things science couldn't explain or express. I'm still, and will always be looking, I suppose. So this is great inspiration. Thanks so much for bringing it back to me, Harold. No problem. Oh, and, uh, not that it's important, but... How did you come by this? I was helping Buddy with some old mail that had got stuck in the all-water system. Thank him for looking after it all. All this time. Ah, Buddy. Such a true soul. Anyway, I'm going to meditate on this. Thanks again, Harold. Okay. I wonder if he's- I really wonder if he's gonna start wearing different clothes now. Okay, we have another letter, but I'm gonna go to the- the cave because we keep getting other letters and not going to the cave, so... Travel in style with I wanna do that. <laughs> I feel like we're like not progressing in the story, we're just getting lore from background characters sometimes. You've arrived! Have you checked your pockets before leaving? Destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all water tube system journey. You have arrived. Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. We hope you travel with us again soon. Hello again, Mr. Halibut. Hello, Mr. Seventeen. How's the new role going? You hitting your targets? Well, the free earpod offer has gone down a storm. 
We've got some great metrics on the most popular spots on the cave. And so we're working on incentivizing return great. visits with special flumilim led behind the scenes tours. Oh, isn't it enough that people are just enjoying the place on their own? Well, that's nice and all. No, we need to monetize to it. The initial outlay of connecting the cave to the tube network somehow. I suppose so. Well, no guide package for me, thanks. Okay, if you're sure you can bear not to know all the details we explain on the tour. We must monetize all your experiences. I really want to know what the hell is in this little cave thing here. The hole in the ground. Because I want to know what fucking weird ass explanation they're going to have. Bridget, good news. <laughs> I spoke to Rafi and they're happy to help. More or less. Oh, great. I knew we could rely on that silver tongue of yours. Well, it was touch and go for a while. But they should be working on it right now. Good work, Harold. Oh, and Moreau gave me this probe. Ah, oh, lovely. She mentioned she'd be working on it. As soon as we've got everything up and running here, we can let it down. Leave it with me. Great. Then I have the adapter also. Got the adapter for you, Bridget. Ah, oh, Harold, you found it. You see what a can-do attitude can do? So, where was it in the end? Oh, uh, just kind of lying around lying around eh come on tell me my organizational pride depends on it uh it had somehow got into a drawer in a, in a filing cabinet in the energy harvest hmm i don't remember packing up around there are you sure oh great the computer is all booted up finally i can get going you're a star no worries. Just distract her with work. Okay, now what? Hey, voila! Now we're cooking with gas. Great, so what's next? We can let the probe down. Yay! Ah, oh, Harold, just think what wonders await us down there. What new marvels of alien life and power. Power? Did I say power? I meant, you know, energy. Power, juice, gas, zoom, zoom, pep. Get up and... Okay, I see. Yeah, power. I hope we find something that can help with the troubles we're having. Unlimited we'll power. See. Or the probe will. Hmm. I feel like we should give it a name. This could be a momentous occasion. So the probe could should have Hung a shiny prize. name. Proby McProberson. Yeah! Proby McProberson. Okay, you... Really? No, it's fine. That sounds lovely. Well, you Is come up with a better name then. I can do? Nope. It's going to take a while to gather enough data for a better picture. Tell you what, though. I imagine Cyrus wouldn't say no to a bit of company. Poor guy is really struggling, I think. Okay, maybe I'll drop in on him. Bye, Bridget. All right. Done. Errand complete. Hello, other children that are not. Yeah, there might be bodies down there. The child and an adult it sounded like don't be surprised if you find fish skeletons or something oh here he is how's it going how do they like the wieners ah, they don't have money though is hey, the thing Warren, how are you finding the cave they like it's don't brilliant. use money the tourists are loving water wieners, oh, good. and the Fluilum have started to introduce me to some wowser new ingredients they have here. Nice. Uh, I knew you'd be a hit. And just think, I might never have come if I hadn't had the idea while I was serving you. Yes, that was a real coincidence. <laughs> yeah, what a wacky coincidence that just happened and was not premeditated or motivated by any thing at all. Destination decided. Alright, we gotta get another... Another letter. Checking on Cyrus again. 
Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation for choosing to travel with us today. Destination selected. Have a pleasant journey. I want to know what that uh fantastic day. That far right tube is going to be. You're here. Thank you for choosing All Water Tubes. He's probably used to it with the tubes, you know, because that's how they, I mean, it's like us using an elevator. We're used to it. Ah. Oh, oh, sorry. What's up? I'm trying everything I can think of, but for weeks, the answer has eluded me. The answer to... What's wrong with my simulation and what's throwing off the calculations? It's like a going around in circles because my formulae somehow can't reconcile the timings of each step. And without the proper timing, sploosh. You've got this, Sai. If it was easy, it'd me they'd got to figure it out, not you. <sighs> Look, I know I'm not an expert, but sometimes you just need an extra set of eyes. <sighs> Maybe you're right. I'm out of options at this point. You've got the Herald option. <laughs> now, You've got the where Herald should we option. start? Oh, hell yeah, montage music. We're doing science. We're doing science on a spaceship under the ocean. We're making jello. It's not efficient. I love his number one dad hat. Super cute. Why does he shake his head no at everything? That's not good. I wonder if Cyrus actually knows what he's doing. Because it kind of seems like he doesn't know what he's doing. Oh, God, that was too many days that went past. <gasps> only 37 days. We only have a month, Chad. Okay, any more letters? Of course there are. Okay, what have we got here? Major. Well, where is he gonna be? Hello, Professor. Any chance there's been some news? Harold, come here. Yeah, we did, did science for a week. Oh, yes. We found particles non-normative with fascinating variegation of valency and all sorts. Mm. Thing is, mm. deeper you go, denser the particles get. And with enough density, something starts to warp the video feed and probe data recording. Oh, because their combined energy gets strong enough to mess with the sensors. Precisely. Oh my god, Harold understood something! <gasps> see, he passed a certain point by measuring... Yes, this game is fully out. It came out spike. yesterday, the 16th. tell us much. Why, uh, what does it tell us? Get this. The particles lower down in their original individual form before they interact and bond are utterly unlike anything we've seen before. And when looked at as a group, they resemble the particle structure of pollen. Oh, Makes sense. Cyrus will be pleased. Yes, you're right, actually. Cyrus might be just the right man for the job. He's always been good with flower stuff. Also, do you think he maybe needs a bit of a change of scenery? Perhaps a change would be as good as a rest for him. A rest he can't have, I must add. 
So, did we find anything else down there? Harold? What's gotten into you? Not like you to be so interested in my scientific observations. <sighs> well, this stuff seems real. Well, since you ask, it seems as though the atmosphere down there contains a number of elements that we've never encountered. Makes Alien sense. elements? Well, yes. From what I can tell, they wouldn't kill you, but there's no telling what other effects they'd have on human physiology or neurology. Is it weird that I want to try some? Try some? What yes. do you mean, try some? Very odd. The fuck? Anyway, we must all get together <laughs> again near the crack to discuss next steps. Like, he just assumes he's no, gonna boy. eat it? I'll see you shortly. If I, if I had a scientist tell me they discovered a new element that was an alien element, my first thought would not be, what'll it taste like? I would be like, is it radioactive? You know, is it, does it emit some kind of toxic, some, like something? And he's like, man, I can't wait to eat it. <laughs> can't wait to make a smoothie out of that. Uh, let's check the arcade for determined. Major. Now, relax with all water. <laughs> Thank you for traveling with all water. I didn't read my PDA. Maybe it tells me where he is. I feel like I remember seeing him somewhere that he had like a little post. Maybe that was at the all water, like the main one. It's like, what if I inject it directly into my blood? Hey, Harold, just so you know, I beat your high score on Blastosaurus. You could try and beat mine, but I wouldn't bother. I don't even know how to beat a high score, okay? I think I've got it. Where are you? What if we invert it? What would the worst thing we could do be? And then if we just avoid that, make this blow up and then do the opposite. <laughs> this dude is not a scientist, man. There's He's just guessing. Can you bring snack something salty, crunchy, high in protein and low in sodium, but high in potassium? That should do. <laughs> it's just like... He's like, okay, so... We're trying to escape from the, uh, ship. So what if we just, we don't want to blow up the ship. So what if we just do the opposite of blowing up the ship? Okay, well, he's not here. Um, and it doesn't say where he is. So we gotta remember where we saw him. I mean, we know where he lives. Location Maybe that's where he's gonna be, like his apartment. Remember we went there and he was talking to the flounder? Maybe that's where we're supposed to go. We know you enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. Chris has got his arm around that fish. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's where he lived. The first door was his, I think. There's people here that we don't like interact with, which is interesting too. Uh, okay, well, I don't think he's here because I'm pretty sure that first door was his. This is the guitar guy, yeah. And then this is just a dead end. Okay, so he's not here in his apartment. And I can't like knock on the door, right? Nope, okay. What you doing, Chris? Um, 
Maybe he's just at the cave thing. Let's just go to the cave and maybe he's there. And if he's not, then we just do the cave thing. compliments you on your choice of destination. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason? Just contact your nearest uh, and all water will make it up to you. Hmm. Well, he's not here. Cool. But we'll just have to wait. Thanks for coming, everyone. We've much to discuss. Yes, <sighs> much. And plans must be made. We've got to do this by the book. Measure everything. The calculations must be exact. I mean, sure, but isn't time of the essence? We'll never get anything done unless we just start and see what happens. If you let me just... Oh, Cyrus. Always with the, if you let me just. Well, maybe if you ever did let me... Um, I was just thinking, if these particles really are alien, then we won't be able to properly measure everything anyway, right? And... If these particles really are alien, like you say, Professor, then we're never going to be able to properly measure everything anyway. That's what I just yeah. said. But if we don't make sure we've measured what we can... Don't let can be the enemy of is. What? That isn't how the saying goes. Anyway, look, let's start again. Evaluate our first principles. We think the particles will be the solution to our energy issue. The books were a dead end, sadly. Little more than some poetic interpretations. Jean, did the probe data reveal anything new? I'll send you the full data set. This is only a vague hypothesis, but I believe the particles might have some plant-like properties. Mm. But the probe couldn't tell us much about what it's like down the cave itself, right? Correct. There may be hazards we're unaware of and we have only the most basic idea of the cave and the connecting tunnel's formation. So, what can we do next that will be a reliable investment of time? Bye. Hello all. Sorry I'm late. We you. We were just recapping everything we know. Everything? <laughs> Won't that take a while? Oh, <laughs> no, just about the cave and stuff. Really? Oh, oh Anywho, if we want a closer look, we're going to need to get down there somehow. That will involve measurements, a platform, or a hoist. It's systems thinking. Sounds like a job for me. You sure you're happy taking all that on? Sure. Oh, Bridget, we'll need a rope or cable that's durable enough to withstand whatever the particles might do to it, and cope with lots of weight either way. Got it. How hard can it be? Well... We're going to need a certain amount of flexibility in it. Huh, no, I mean, don't worry, it'll be fine. Cyrus, you take over the probe data. With your botanical expertise, maybe you'll find some details I missed. It'll have big implications for the equipment for capturing and keeping the particles safe. That's what I'll work on. Definitely. Won't whoever goes down need keeping safe too? Yes, that is a sticking point. Let's all bear in mind and come back to it when we have more data. Maybe the Flummelin will remember something useful in the meantime. What if I go down? What? Harry? I think we can all agree that isn't going to happen. Yes, Harold, it's too dangerous. Lots of other fun things to do instead, Howell. Yeah, come on, buddy. Don't be crazy. Okay, people. Then we're agreed. To your stations. Don't be crazy. Our work cut out for us. Let me help with something. Harold, why don't you help me? He You're wants to taste those particles. Us. You can liaise with Wii U and find out if there is anything they can think of to help us. Okay, sure. Let's go, Wii U. Wii U? Where did they go? 
Oh, I see Wii U is by the crack. Oh boy. Uh oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh no. Oh, oh just watching them. Oh. They're uh, gurpa gurping with an oobble boop. It looks fun. Is Gurpuruku. Are they trying to do something? Oh, well, yes. But only for themselves. Oh, fun, you'd say. Oh, they're playing. Yes, they are. I noticed the fish in the Ubel boots can go further down and still have fun. Oh, the fish is fine when it comes back up in an Ubel boot. Ubel? Down further? And then safe? We, what do you know? <laughs> um, what do you know about how they work? How are they made? Not much, but I could probably get a few for you. It's worth trying. If we take a couple to Moreau, she might be able to analyze the particle bonding properties and ascertain whether... Or what if we just test them now? What do you mean? No fish has ever cared before, but we could just put one little fish in an ooble, leave one out, put them both down, and see how they're both doing when we pull them back up. Will you... How would you feel if I kissed you? You don't have to answer that. Okay, let's do it. Let's do a field test right oh, now. Oh, God. Well, okay. I'll rustle up some oobble boops and a couple of little fish. One of them is going to come back not right. <laughs> One of them is going to come back uh, or not, maybe. Yeah, I think Oobble Boop is just like the bubble. And they put the fish in the bubble. And we're going to lower one without a bubble. And one with a bubble and see what happens. Really sounds like we're just sticking a fish in a microwave or something. <laughs> Not for barbecue. It's a uh, lumpy, lumpy gloop or something. Hi, Rafi. Remember where they, like, uh, shredded it? Oh, hey. He is down here. He just was over here for some reason. Oh, with his flounder. Cute. He's got it. He brought his pet with him. Oh, you're so cute with your pet. Major, I have a letter for you. Why do you have a letter for me? I'm helping Buddy. There were some letters Oh, that, it's written by a kid uh, or something. Or he maybe he wrote it. No. So I don't know. Here I am. <laughs> Seems most unorthodox, and I might add, faintly suspicious. Harold, you're not- Major, this is above board. Just read it. Here you go. Dear Major Sandstorm, I really want to be like you when I grew up. I think you look very strong when you walk around, and I know you keep everyone on the fedora safe by punishing anyone being naughty. I want to do that too! I have a little brother who's very naughty, and I try to punish him to keep the fedora safe. I also <laughs> like your uniform. It is very smart. Please let me know when I can be your deputy major. Over and out, Jew Main Hunter. Hmm. Respect for authority. No desire to give preferential treatment to his unruly sibling. Mm -hmm. I wonder what became of young Jermaine. I could certainly use someone of his attitude around here. Perhaps not all kids these days, or, well, those days, are as misguided as young Felix. Hmm. It must be different growing up on the fedora now, though, Major. Being a bit unruly doesn't mean their intentions are bad, right? <sighs> I suppose there's a kernel of truth to what you say. Not that it excuses breaking the rules. But you've given me an idea. Perhaps I could teach people why I'm strict about the rules. Maybe tell them about what it was like when I wasn't. Thanks for this, Harold. Nice. Be good. I'll be seeing you. Yay! Character growth. Maybe he'll be less of an asshole to me now. When we're just minding our own damn business. Hi, tiny cat. Hello. Could we have two little fish, please? Two little fish. Of course. I like how they say little fish. 
Oh. And could we please have one Ubel boot? Sure. Got your Ubel pops right here. Knock yourself out. Ah, uh, no, sorry. Not the pops, the boots. Ah, uh, okay. One Ubel boot coming right up. The Ubel pops are good these days too, though. That was easy. Yes, apart from the misunderstanding. An Ubel pop, when we needed an Ubel boot, could really have complicated things. <laughs> Close one, then, I guess. They look exactly the same. So, time to experiment. Hey. What could possibly oh. go wrong? Now that we've got an Ubel boop and not an Ubel pop, nothing. So, mm. what's the difference? That would take a lot of explaining. I'll tell you when we have more time. Okay. I look forward to it. Probably. Oh, yeah, just shove these bubbles in my pocket. Great idea. Well, time to go kill a fish. Fish friends. Oh, the dude with the guitar is hanging out over there at the, like, big... I don't know what the hell that thing is, right in the center of the screen. Guitar man's hanging out with them now. No. Bridget, we've got the bubble fish. Fantastic. Wait, hang on. What's wrong? Why do you have an extra bubble and no naked fish? Isn't the point to have one of them unprotected? No. Exactly. But we, you, I mean, forgive me for being obtuse, but... I forgive you. Both of them are protected. What? Look. Oh. Ooh. One plus one equals zero? Don't worry, we, you. That's rhetorical. Anyway, shall we tie the ropes? I thought it was going to make it bigger, but it popped it. Oh my god, this poor fish. How far down does it go? Okay, let's pull them out and check the results. Is it alive? Oh no. Oh. That one doesn't look so good. Oh dear. Poor fish. I really didn't think the effects of exposure would be so severe. But we had to test. One second. Little fish is pretty dazed, but I don't think it's on fish. Yeah, oh, so it's not dead. It's coming around. Ah. Good news. Well, like Moreau and Wiyu said, going down there doesn't look like it kills. But we don't really know how fishy feels right now. True. I suppose we should keep a close eye on it. But it means the experiment was mostly a success, right? I'm happy. So now we can create bigger bubbles that we can go in. Huh, that would be awesome. But we, present company excluded, can't breathe underwater. Cyrus is going to be the best person to make use of these new findings on that front, I think. But then there's the mobility issue. We need to be able to get, stay, and maneuver down there. How about our ropes? Ooh, that would be great. Can you work with me on creating the right stuff? Of course. Great. I suppose I'll start construction of the hoist at the same time. Things are really happening. I pulled on a hair that I thought was a loose hair on my cat, and it was not a loose hair, so... <laughs> She's like, what the fuck? Um, it's possible that they... I mean, they didn't go down in a bubble is the thing. One more letter in the box. All right. This bubble technology is amazing. So tell Cyrus about it. Okay. So we got to go talk to Cyrus and then we got to go get another letter. 
Is it, it's lunchtime, isn't it? Yes, it's lunchtime. Hmm. Oh, I can run now. Yay. Sometimes they don't let me run down here, and I don't know why. But now they're letting me run. What you guys doing? Oh, they're making ropes. Making big ropes. Oh, uh, well, I guess I can talk to them. So, this is the rope we're going to use. No. Yes, it's made with lots of grubles. I'm just going to assume that means care and attention. Well, uh, it's a great process, really. First, we use some bubble fish. Yes, exactly. That produces the fibers of the rope. Then we just persuade the fibers into the rope. You persuade it? That sounds... Strange but fun. I know. The persuading is the key. If you don't take enough time over it, the strands don't trust one another to stay strong. A bit like... Friends? Us. I think this rope is going to do great. You should do a bit of the persuading. You'll enjoy it. I'll give it some encouragement, sure. I believe in you, Rope. Stay strong. <laughs> Good job, Harold. Nailed it. Okay. Um style with all water. Forgotten who we're talking to. We need to grab the letter. Oh, I gotta go to the lab. Check your pockets before leaving. We gotta talk to uh, Cyrus, and we gotta grab a letter from the lab. Destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all water tube system journey. You have arrived. Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. We hope you travel with us again soon. All right, Cyrus. Did I just hear a car alarm? What was that? Oh, Cyrus is not here. Maybe in the lab? Nope, we don't know. The art style is very cool, yeah. All the like sets and character models and all the items and stuff are handmade and then computer animated, which is why it like looks the way that it does. Which is very fucking cool. Oh, here he is. Okay, good. Perfect. Hey, Cyrus. Just me. We've got a great idea for the helmets. Shh. Did you hear that? I uh, hear a lot of fuzzy static? Yes, sure. But below that... Sai, what should I be hearing? Just let me listen and follow my instructions. We'll get to the bottom of this in no time. Oh. I'm supposed to grab it. <sighs> Do you hear that? Ah, <sighs> nope. Do you hear that? Ah, too far. Nope. Tuning out. Just a little. Ah, better. Ah, too far. It's get. Oh, nearly. Ah, better. Ah, too far. It's getting distorted again. Just a little. Oh, ne just. Do you hear that? Oh, nearly. Sounding good. Do you hear that? Nope. Oh, nearly. Sounding good. Oh god, good. this is so annoying. Just a little more. Please get, oh, stop. Nearly. So Do you hear that? No. Just a little more. Ah, better. Getting better again. Nope. Doing Not sure more. which Just, one is doing ah, what. So close. Careful now. Nope. Tuning up. Ah, better. Just a little more. It's getting clearer. It's. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh, a little more. Nope. Now? Yep. Nope. Up. Ah, like yep. Nope. Particles are singing together, harmonizing. It's choral. I've discovered the choral particles. Particle choir? Particulars? Do you know what this means, Harold? 
Whatever is down there, that's the evidence that it has lots of similarities with the plant that I researched in my youth. Didn't you read the book I gave you? You gave me a book? The one I wrote. Phonetic identities in adolescent seedlings. She's getting yeah, really annoyed at me. By the way, uh, just ended She's up sticking. about so, to attack. You know that by hearing this choir sound? How does that relate mm, to... It's all connected. In this very specific sound pattern. This melody. Music is math. Math is nature. John will be <laughs> happy about these results. Awesome. I can't wait to tell her. Oh, hi, ah. Professor. And you too. What's going on? We were just talking about Cyrus's new findings. The music is plant math. What? Marrow. Yes, I discovered that the audio samples actually reveal an even greater affinity between the particles and sentient plant life. It vindicates my earlier theory too, the one in my book. That is interesting. So, what's your opinion on the energy container's necessary properties? Hmm, well, it makes me think the container will need the option for water flow and or some kind of nutrition bed. Might need light control and something to attract the particles into it too. And hmm, given that we don't know the energy potential and given that pollen can- Sigh, sigh. That's enough to go on for for now, I think. I this music in the background. Thinking, though, I'll handle it from here. Maybe asbestos will do the trick. Asbestos? Say, oh, didn't you want to tell me something earlier? Uh, before we got swept up. What year is this? Oh, it's the water bubbles. Our experiment was great. We found the bubbles to have protective qualities. The bubble fish came back totally happy. Oh, that is interesting. But did you have a control group? <laughs> what? Yes. One fish went down without a bubble. I'll tell you all the details later. Sorry. It survived. Can you work By the way, bubbles? that's important to know. Find a way to adapt them for human usage. No, I mean, it's not like I don't have any. I know she said maybe it's bestest. Sure. Like, I'll figure it I out. no longer want to be a part of this. Of double hoop glaze with bubble film. Hey, what happened to the other fish, by the way? It was a bit confused by the whole thing. I should see if we can thank it somehow. You always did have a soft spot for fishy friends, huh, Harold? I guess so. Nice to have one that can talk back. <laughs> okay, let's get back to it. Good work, you two. Go Yay. team. Go team. Oh, montage time. How many days are we about to lose? No, how many days are we going to lose? Every time they do this, it gives me anxiety because it's like we're getting closer to the countdown. I wonder if Harold will choose to stay here with his fishy friends. Or maybe we will come with us because they want to explore more. Nice job, Cyrus. Damn. Super asbestos. Oh, God. Uh... Oh, nobody wants my help with anything. Don't step on it. Oh, no, Harold. Yeah, but nobody else wants my help either. I'm sad for Harold. He needs to help people. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Three weeks. One last letter to deliver to... Cat bailed on me. Okay. What have we got here? Oh, it's for me. Dear Harold, me again. Oh, it's from Buddy. Always when you least expect it, right? Well done for delivering all the letters. Very diligent. I'm not surprised, though. I always saw something in you. Similar to me. 
an inability to leave things undone when you know doing them will make someone happier. You might not be Chris's personal best in the station jog, but you'll always be a buddy champion to me, pal. And maybe you feel like you understand people a bit better now. You learn a lot about people doing this job. Well, I did at least. I mean, I spent pretty much my whole life doing it. I like the detail of being able to see the rest of the letter on the, like, through the page. I sense that someone like you, who chose to spend their time reading old letters with an old geezer like me, probably felt like they had a bit of a tough time connecting with people. But I'm glad you did. Like I told you before, learning about people is a kind of adventure. A way of exploring lots of little worlds that exist within the fedora. And it's my belief that even if one of those little worlds looks barren and uninhabitable from the outside, usually when you make contact with it, even if you have to chip away at the surface a bit, or wait patiently for a while, you'll find plenty of life and laughter there. And you learn that life is just like a letter. It can change someone's life, but even the best ones can get a bit lost and need some help reaching their destination sometimes. And when a letter gets delivered, sometimes it's kept around on a bedside table, or it becomes a coffee coaster or a paper aeroplane. The message becomes a smile, a laugh, a scowl, a memory. And the physical form transforms into something else. Uh, like me, I suppose. Anyway, don't feel you have to hold on to this letter. It's the message that counts. And unless you really love my workout video, this will be the last time you hear from me. It was a pleasure, Harold. Buddy. Oh, P.S. If you do decide to keep hold of this letter, maybe make it into a paper aeroplane and make Chris race against it. I'd love to beat him one more time. Cute. What a cutie. What a nice guy. And he's gone. Thank you for joining me, everyone. And well done on your efforts in getting to this point. Yeah, at least I could help with this stuff. No time for sulking. <laughs> We're this close to figuring out whether what's down there can really help us. She's get like, up shut there. your fucking so complaining we down, decide buddy. On who gets to go down there, right? I might be the first blooming them to even care what's down there. Yes, well. That is to say... Oh, Harold, it was nothing personal, but we already met to discuss that. You decided without me? Oh, without me too, Howell. Yeah, it just kind of came up during one of our standard peer reviews. We were going down as a given, right? And then we decided it made most sense for Bridget to go with. She has the mixture of I mean, observational it... prowess and energy understanding. Honestly, oh, makes sense. I see. You're kind but of. But I'm actually acutely claustrophobic, oh. so okay, I well, had never to pass. Mind. I wouldn't have been able to trust myself not to freak out down there. Oh, so Cyrus was the next natural candidate, with his expertise in botany <laughs> and molecular biology. You guys could have just said you were going to let me like go it. instead but of just as I was about to accept. Saying everybody else sunny. would be better at this, and, you know, but you're our last resort because everyone else had something too. better to do. If anything should happen to me down there, Sunny would never forgive me. I'm sure your fish would forgive you, though. You're the most, oh. uh, uh... Professor, you're next in line, then. You're the most experienced, after all. Sure I am, but... Harold, are you fooling me? I've only got one hand. What? You're Wait. extremely capable. So, if not you, then... We did consider yeah, the astronaut. He's the most we sure expendable. Fit. So, so. We're sorry to put the burden on you, Harold, but you're the next best man. <laughs> They're the job. mean. I, yes. What the hell? I mean, yes. 
I it'll be okay. No need to worry. We'll you don't have any family who are gonna miss you. you. I know. You don't so. have to come. and you have a great <laughs> rapport with Wii U, so it makes sense. And you've proven recently that you're more responsible than maybe we gave you credit for. Plus, you've developed a real affinity for flumulin processes and mental models. I'll look after you, Howell. Don't worry. I accept. There's no need to be rash. Take a few moments to mull it over. <laughs> yeah, they were so Wait, mean about it. You, you could have just led now? with that. Howled. You know I don't jape in times of scientific urgency. I meant about telling me, not going down there. We'll give you some extra training before you go, of course. Thank you, everyone. We'll do you all proud. I promise. No doubt that you will. <laughs> now, let's get going. Time is still short. Okay. Man, you guys are fucking rude, I gotta say. Uh, well, I gotta wait for them all to use the elevator. Oh god, so many messages. Oh, Ubel Pops are more durable than Ubel Boops. Are you sure? Yeah, we don't know what the difference is. Need to stress test the new hoist. Gunter volunteered already, but you're my go-to experiment guy. I'm running out of asbestos. It's a crucial component of the energy vessel. I need you to make a resupply run for me. Sea bean cookie. Okay, those are just messages, not to do's. Uh, okay, Cyrus. Not Cyrus. Uh, Chris wants to. Well, no, we need to find Chris. Oh, Cyrus, you just messaged me? You just stopped right there to message me? Green thumb final preparation class. When you're ready, make sure you've tied up any loose ends. Who knows how long you'll be away. That's video game speak for finish your other tasks before you. Oh, it's been a while since. Nope, can't hold it in any longer. Oh, okay. Bathroom time. Well, better run down. <laughs> Task P. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, there's somebody in here. Squeaky door. Uh, hello? Hmm? Sounds like the shower is playing up. <laughs> is that a... Well, I think he's sitting. Hello? Are you okay in there? Hey, it's okay if you're sad, but... Just tell me if you need medical attention. I, I assume he's sitting. No, I'm not ill. Secretary? Is that you? Or one of you? It's me, Secretary 24. Oh. No, I'm not Secretary 24 The one anymore. who retired oh, no, or resigned? Oh, no. What happened? I've, after clock gate, all water needed <laughs> to show culpability. And so, I was fired. I've been scapegoated. What? What? But for what? Surely you didn't have anything to do with anything. I know, but but it's happened anyway. They used that one disciplinary action I had on my file from years ago as an excuse. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. What are you going to do now? I don't know. Was my career a total waste? All that time, and then just discarded like a used tube ticket. It makes me realize the only people who are really there for you, who are truly loyal, are your family. Well, you have a lot of that at least, right? Yes, that's true. But me and my brothers aren't as close as we used to be. We used to do so much together. Such fun stuff. Well, maybe now you have the time. Yes. Yes, you're right. We should get our a cappella group back together. Yeah. Rift at last. Please stop looking at me while Lauren I'm in the toilet. Right. There is more to life than a steady job. There's got to be more it. to Use life. Use this new lease of life to solve the feud. I will. You'll see. Let me it's finish time peeing. for a new me. Great. 
So, now you're no longer a secretary, what should we call you? I will just stick to 24. Why fix what isn't broken, right? Oh, right. Okay, go get him, 24. <laughs> Thank you for listening, whoever you are. It's me, Mr. Halib... I mean, Harold. Well then, thank you, Harold. You'll always be a bathroom buddy to me now. Green. <laughs> a bathroom buddy. Yep. <laughs> Are you good in there? Okay, good. Great. Um, wash your hands. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no, I can't wash my hands. Ugh, ugh. I hate it. They're going to put on a concert in the Agora Arcades. Make sure everything I want to do is done. Last thing is head for the school for fire prep. Okay, so acapella, buddies race. But we need to... I don't know where Chris is going to be. Um, I, I hate, hate when people try to talk to me when I'm using the restroom. If I ever go into, like, a restroom that's got, like, multiple stalls, you know? And somebody that I'm with has to go to the bathroom at the same time and they try and talk to me. I fucking hate that. I hate it. Do not talk to me. Talk to me before or after. Uh, um, where are we supposed to find Chris if not at the school? But they said that's the last thing I'm supposed to do. So maybe we just go there like last last. Mr. Halibut. Hello there, sir. Hey, hey. Oh, wow. Hi, everyone. It's good and quite strange to see you all together. Yeah, man. It's about time, right, bros? Yes. Family over bosses for me now. Yes, well, some of us have still got to make an honest living. Now, now, Secretary 8. We're luckier than a double ruffle with her to have got over our differences. So, what are you all doing here? How did this happen? I guess it started after our little bathroom encounter <laughs> when I approached Warren. We got talking about the past and how now half of the brothers were ex all water. Yeah, and like I said, all the reasons for us being weird with each other. We couldn't even remember them. And I thought, if neither of us can... That's when they came to me. And then me. And we all realized it can't have been anything that important. And so now, we're preparing our comeback show. The Acapella 24 mentioned? I can't wait to hear it. We wouldn't be here without you, Harold. Enjoy the show. Boom, 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 boom. If I had the fins of a fish, I would travel far under the sea. And a rocky old road I would follow to the place that is heaven to me. When the sun goes to rest, not that we can see, way down in the west. Not that this planet is really the greatest. I'll build a nest in the place I love best, a dear little ship in the sea. Bravo. That was great. I enjoyed that. Thank you so much for sharing your art with me. Uh, I don't know where Chris is going to be, so not a single word. I know we didn't even clap. Everybody just left. Okay, I actually do need to use the restroom, though. Hopefully no one will talk to me while I'm in there. Uh, and I'm going to see if Fromage fed Nova or not, or she might need me to do it. So I'll be right back, chat. Thank you for your patience.
Okay. I am back. <clears throat> Sounds like Fromage is in a meeting too, so she did need me to feed the cat. So I'm glad that I did that. Because now Nova won't stop bothering her. Uh, okay, so we don't have any letters to deliver. We're supposed to go see Chris, but... He's usually at the school. Which is also where I'm supposed to go for my, like, last... Thing. So I'm not sure... You're here. Thank you for choosing all water tubes. I guess hopefully we see Chris before we see them. Yeah, because see, they're all in there. Is Chris here? Yeah, hooray. Cool. Hi, Chris. Chris, you got a minute? Oh, hola. What's up, Harold? This is going to sound a little weird, but Buddy has challenged you to one last race. What? Harold, come on. What are you saying? Look at the end of this letter he wrote me. He did not oh, change, yeah. and he didn't change his How hair either. Fold him up and let's have one Fold final station jog. Fold him up. You I mean, fold up the letter, right? Good job, Chris. You nearly had him there. Ha! <laughs> I gave him a real challenge, eh? You okay? Yeah. Thanks, Harold. I mean, really. Same to you, Chris. That was very entertaining to watch. Ha! <laughs> uh, buddy, making us both smile even now. Okay. All right, we did it. Buddy's final race. Let's go. I gotta beat him to the elevator thing so that I don't have to wait for him to go through it first. <laughs> yes. Haha, now who's winning the jogging race? Nerd. Now, yeah, wait your turn. <laughs> <all water. laughs> Thank you Time for, for a crash course. Crash course in not dying? Gunter's here. Hi, Gunter. Okay, everyone. Listen up. Welcome to Green Thumb Class. You may be wondering what Green Thumb Class is and why you're here at Green Thumb Class. Well, I this like was said Green Thumb going to be a class. private seminar to discuss safe handling of the particles that make up the energy source based on our findings, most of which were my findings, may I add, especially the sound wave element, which... Get on with it, Sai! Yes, yes, sorry. But then we decided it might be fun to open it to the public ah. as a kind of general botany 101. So here you all are, and thank you for coming. Here are some tips for all of you on handling things with green thumb status, which includes the energy particles as well as general flora around the cave. Number one, exert minimum pressure. The cells of these particles and anything else you encounter down there could be incredibly sensitive. Number two, check for root-like material. If taking any samples, Keep them as intact as possible, taking care not to sever anything. If you must take a sample, take it from as close to the end of the root as possible. Number three, keep well lit and warm. We still don't know exactly what combinations of environmental factors is preferred by whatever is down there but we can surmise it's similar to how it already is. For example, if you find something in the dark, don't shine a bright light on it. Any questions? 
Sai, what happens if you eat the particles? Um, we don't know. Ingesting or inhaling anything down there is not advised. Is there a danger of the particles being shocked by environment change? Very good question. It's possible, but from what we can tell, they can handle a small degree of ambience change. Can plants think? Can plants, uh, uh, not in the way we can. They don't have nervous systems, of course. But then what does it mean to think? After all, it's just a- Kill with it! Follow these basics, Harold. Those are the essentials, but I'll be staying here to discuss the specifics of boron deficiency in cruciferous veg if anyone is interested in sticking around. Right. For those of you who stuck around, this Sorry, is going to be a wild ride. Oh, I suppose the house party has started. Well, I'm sure it won't be more fun than my lecture, but it'd be a shame to miss it. Okay, I guess we're gonna have a party first. Oh my god, having to slide out of those bench seats, I would just freak out. Hi, Chris. Oh, I guess this is like the talk to everybody before you leave forever event, you know? Well done. You know, you've become quite the talk of the town. Your exploits in the fishy cave are becoming more riveting than Son Zhu Ashk. Well, at least more interesting than seasons 1 through 6 and then 9 through 22. <laughs> ah, yes. That run from 7 through 9 was real killer stuff, huh? So? Are you excited? Have you been training? <laughs> training? I hadn't thought about that. Do you think it'll be demanding? You got to be prepared for the unexpected. Oh, well, what would you suggest? Hmm. We don't have time to put you on a proper routine. But you're a friend, though. I'll tell you about my emergency regime. It sounds uncomfortable. I really think I'll be fine. I'm Don't just gonna wing it. it. Look, it's a flexibility routine. Just gonna jump in that just hole. Breathe really we'll just see deeply what happens. And let all your limbs go loose. Shake them around while shouting, I can do anything! It's no replacement for years of disciplined exercise, but it's better than nothing. Okay, I'll try and give it a try before I head down. Enjoy yourself for now, though, eh? Party hard, work hard. You got it, Chris. Cheers. Salud! Salud. Uh, okay, I can't talk to you. I'm just gonna check all the people that I can talk to before we leave. Professor, hey. Harold, my boy! How are you, you, you know, feeling? Oh, fine. I'm not worried about a thing. You know, I kind of wish I could go with you. Wouldn't it be fun? Oh, well, yeah, it'd be great. Are you sure you can't? <laughs> with this age and my arm, <laughs> I think not. Oh, I'm sure we could. We, you and I, would... You're not that old. Yada, yada, blah, blah. <laughs> Stop trying to make me feel better. I'm just happy we get to experience this, even if I don't actually get to see it. Even if I don't actually get to see it. Yeah, and we wouldn't even be getting to see it if it wasn't for you. Hmm. Can I get you another drink? <laughs> I'd probably better not. Okay, well... It's okay, Harry. I'm okay. Go have fun. <laughs> not too much fun. <laughs> We've got a real slip to It's own. okay, Harry. I'm okay. <laughs> you sound great. Uh, not at all like something is very wrong with you. <laughs> Harold, my man. Hi. Everybody is hey, toasted. Sorry. What Are the fuck? Okay? Never better. Responsible <laughs> Never for better. a secret relaunch procedure that everyone is dependent on. My friend. They're so funny. Is about to descend into the depths of an unknown alien cave thing. 
to get the energy we need. What kind of botany do you do? What could there be Again? for me to worry about? I see. Well, you don't have to worry about me. We you will look after me down there. Maybe I'm worried for you. <laughs> It'll be okay, Sai. All of you, all of us, can do as our best, right? Right. I'll worry as best I can. That's not what I <laughs> meant. It's okay, man. We'll all be okay. It was just me. Maybe not. But with Bridget, Moreau on side, I'm sure we'll figure it out. Yes, exactly. Cheers, Cyrus. Oh, no. Now we talk to Sunny. Hey there, Sunny. Hey, Harold. You excited? I guess so. It'll be different. You know, I'm proud of you. I always knew you were a goof. <laughs> and you are. But I did always secretly think you'd figure out how to do something cool one day. Hey. Ah, oh, come on. I didn't mean it in a bad way. <laughs> I'm not doing it because it's cool. I'm just doing what I need to do. I know, I know. I even kind of envy you a bit. No need. It all started by chance, though, really. Maybe, but you know, it's your cosmic consciousness that helps your luck to happen, you know? Anyway, I'm glad it was you that met the fish folk first. Huh. Don't you like fish? No, it's just... If it was anyone else... I just think you were the right man for the job. And you're gonna be the right girl for the job. Whatever the job is. Come tell me how it all went, huh? When you're back. For old time's sake. Sure. Wish me luck. Always. Cute. I know we skip oh, Wii U, but we're on in a Hello, circle. Yaba. How are you feeling? I'm not drunk if that's what you're insinuating. Oh no. <laughs> I just meant after all the all water stuff. Hmm. Yeah. That was frustrating. I really thought we were onto something. Well, you were. It's actually pretty amazing what you managed to figure out from scratch. Hmm. But we had it all wrong. Yeah, but for a bunch of non all water employees with limited resources, you got so much right. <laughs> and maybe it forced the CEO into thinking about how they were doing things. Hmm. So you're saying we might not have produced a full scale expose in regime change, but we might have been agent provocateurs giving rise to a procedural review? Yes. Mm, yes. Totally. Yep. Interesting. I actually followed that. You know, once you're back <laughs> from the mission, you should drop by the hideout again. You can tell us all about it. Thanks, Yava. I promise to swing by. Well, good luck, comrade. Until next time. I feel like we're just, like, not gonna come back. I don't know. I don't talk to Tommy and Bridget. No? Okay. Or to these small children. Wii U! Are you enjoying the party? What? Yes. Well, I think so. But I don't really understand what makes it a party. Well, you know, uh, people have gathered for a special occasion to celebrate. But we haven't gone anywhere yet. No, but it's for good luck and to raise our spirits. I'm not sure I really get it, especially the strange movements people are making. Mm -hmm. They don't usually move like that. You're dancing. Huh. Oh, you mean dancing. It's, hmm, I guess, an expression of letting go, enjoying a rhythm. Ah, I like it. But only an outside musical rhythm? Yes, at least when other people are watching anyway. Well, I don't totally understand the rules, but it's nice to see everyone smiling. Yes, it is. It'll be even nicer when we come back with a magical new energy source and everyone treats us as heroes. Heroes? Yeah, it's a, a person who's admired and treated with a lot of respect. Oh, we're not heroes already. Heck, you're my hero, buddy. 
Well, it's all very weird, but I'm excited if you are. I'm sure we'll have lots of stories to tell at the next party. I'm sure we will. Yeah, the next the others, party. Make sure to get some rest. Okay. When we definitely come party back from time. the cave. <laughs> uh, nope, we already talked to everybody. The amount of, like, narrative flags that are going on right now. Carol, we don't really understand why you're going down the crack with Wii U. But we think we appreciate it, so we got a few things together for you. Hopefully you'll find them useful and or delightful. As a human. Yes. We're still not really sure how your kind thinks, but we've tried our best. Cute. Oh, wow. You all... I'm so flattered. You shouldn't have. No, go on. Open it. Oh, okay. Let's have a look, see. Oh, this looks great. A nice mm. little fish. Is the fish not big enough for you? No, no, no. It's perfect. Thank you. Okay. Up next, some hairpins? Yes. We were told by Chris that these things come in very useful. Where are you now? I mean, thank you. Oh, there's something else in here. I think you're gonna love this one. A rubber hammer. In case I see any molds I need to whack. I'll have it if you don't want it. No, no, no. It's all great. Thank you. Now I'm prepared for anything. Good luck, Harold. Thanks, everyone. See you soon. See you soon. I'll see you at the next party. See you again. See you all when I get back from the scary place that no one has ever returned from. Goodbye, friends. Hey, will you? How? What is the difference between? He does. He does kind of have the haircut. You see. Oobble boots and evil pops are actually not similar at all. One is like a bubble, and the other is like a bubble made to pop. More for fun, uh, not useful. Cyrus made our helmets out of Ubel Pops because he said they were stronger than Ubel Boops. Why did she say that would be complicated to explain and then didn't explain it to us in all the time that we were working on all of this? <laughs> oh boy. Oh god, the camera is going to make me motion sick. I'm going to try not to look at it too much. He does look like he, he's got the haircut of the guy from uh, from No Country for Old Men, though. Um, I can't really look at it because it is going to make me feel sick. Do we just die? I, I mean, maybe. We're definitely in experiencing something. up with it your whole life. I have to call it. Call what? Oh, Jesus. Okay, at least the camera stopped shaking. That's not... That's me! I bet it's me, but upside down. I was the Wii U all along. Oh, 
We lived. Maybe. I'm in my bed anyway. Things look normal. Oh. Home at last. Wait. All my boxes are How gone. Did I get here? My art is gone. I don't remember. And I don't remember leaving it like this. Has someone been in here? It wasn't me. Felix, what are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing, bub. This is my room. But how do you really know that? Felix, I don't have time for your shenanigans right now. I feel like there's something important I should be doing. I need some space to think, okay? Sorry. Nah, it's okay. You're right, Harold. There is something important you should be doing. I'm glad you agree. Wait, what? Do, do you know what it is? Nope, that's for you to find out. All I can do is point you in the right direction. The right direction isn't through a load of ducts, is it? No, no ducts. Just go through there and follow your heart. Okay. Yeah. Don't feel sleepy anyway. Thanks, Felix. Good luck, Harold. Hope I never see you again. <laughs> what? That kid just said, hope I never see you again. What the hell is that? Okay, those are all just images of my bedroom. So I guess we just go to each one. Bro, I am... <laughs> I knew that it was going to be something weird once we got there. I didn't know how weird it was going to be so far. Not disappointed. I have no idea where this is going. <laughs> oh, God. I really thought it was going to be like, we we're going to go down there and it was going to be like, haha, we were on Earth all along or something. Oh god, the camera. Bro, please. Buddy. Bro? Hello? I mean, that could still happen, I guess, but something very weird is happening along the way. There's, um, they had settings for the, uh, like, motion blur, but this is more of, like, a camera movement thing. I, I think it's just supposed to look like that. It's just that it happens to be a setting or a, a like, stylistic choice that is going to make me feel motion sick from looking at it, so I'm just going to try and not look at it too much. Um... Because the, like, head bobbing thing makes me feel like I'm going to throw up, so. I'm just going to look at the chat. Valiant, what's up? Thanks for the five-year resub. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for the five years. Thank you. Yeah, it's fine if I just don't, like, stare directly at it. Um, What? Is that like how we put Buddy in a box? Is that them? Oh god. 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 Yeah, maybe that it's like he has all their lives. Like he's responsible for all of them, basically. wonder about what uh, no it's stupid i shouldn't even bother you with it you can tell me anything it's just are you sure you want to tell me no i don't know maybe hmm? i just wonder have i been useful 
at all? Oh no, existential crisis time. What have I really done? This whole time, people have only given me stuff to do when they haven't been bothered to do it themselves. Has there been anything that only I was able to do? So you're helpful. What's bad about that? You make the lives of everyone around you easier. But anyone could do that. I don't think they would give you things to do if they didn't trust you. Maybe. I suppose. But what if we're all doing the wrong thing anyway? Like what? Eating jam instead of wieners? Hello, <laughs> no, tiny cat. I mean, that's just personal taste. So, what can be a wrong or a right thing? I don't know. Where's home? Is there a Where is home? Or a place for home? Maybe a question is others have asked before. What if taking off is the worst thing that we could do? How do you decide anything? It's all so complicated with you humans. Unless... Are we too simple? <laughs> How does anyone trust they're making the right decision? About anything? I don't know. Maybe we can't know. So why think? But if we don't worry at all... Hmm. Ah. Uh, it's nice. You can do it just like that? Hmm. Unless... Maybe... Maybe the whole point of not being sure is that it keeps your options open. If we were sure about everything straight away, we'd never change our minds. No. We would just be a fish swimming in one direction, following the current, happy, but probably missing out on most of the ocean. That's blugalugalugal. Blugalugalugal. <laughs> so, true blugalugal is being happy within uncertainty. Oh. I didn't think of it like that before. This is just the unbearable lightness of being, but so, with fish. Have you tried jam on a wiener? Please stop saying wiener. Okay. Well, that was one. We have three to go. <sighs> Couple more philosophical uh, lessons coming at you. What if you missed step? I don't know. I don't think you can, like, as a player, but, you know. Hey. Okay, I'm the one who fed you, so you can't bait me into giving me more food, because I gave you food. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah. The fish in the cloud with the fishing pole shows up. Oh, hey, the stuff they gave me. It is going to come in handy. We're going to lockpick this concrete wall. <laughs> that I was not expecting. Oh my god, her head fits in the shape of the thing. Oh god. Run, Harold. Run for your life. Oh, she got my leg! Ah! We're dead. Oh my god. Ow! Oh god! Everything that happens next, like each, each new thing we encounter, is not at all what I saw coming. What am I doing? I don't know. I should know. Maybe someone should just tell me like they always do, whatever and whenever they want. Are you being... What is it you call it? Scartastic. Scartastic! So pointless, isn't it? All these crazy ideas for takeoff? What do any of them think it will achieve? Why can't we just be happy here? Yes. Some of you humans seem to have no blugalugalugal. Blugalugal. <laughs> ah! Ah! I wouldn't even be sad if the mission to find an energy source failed. 
What? Then we'd have to stay here. But then you have wouldn't have any stay. energy. Couldn't you stay anyway? Isn't that bad? It's complicated. That's why the mission failing would make things simple. But wouldn't it make all of you sad? Everyone treats me like I'm just daydreaming. I mean, what else am I supposed to do when I was born onto a spaceship? The same one I'll die on with no options. A mission that is probably pointless. Decided on by people I never knew before I was born. Who could have spent the money and energy on staying and helping instead? Who probably made half the problems on Earth? Who made my parents? Who... I'm angry too! <laughs> I am also angry! I'm angry with myself, I didn't consider that. Sorry, will you... What are you angry about? It's okay. I I'm not sure. I just feel your anger, and it makes me angry that things are making you upset. And I really hate the tube system. <laughs> the access card is a dumb shape, it smells weird, and it doesn't work properly half the time. Howell, if you had a fish for a long time, and then another fish came to visit, and you could only keep one fish, which fish would you choose? What? Why? Why can't I have both fish? Just because one fish is going to swim away. Out of your control. I don't know. Which fish is nicer? Maybe one fish can speak. I don't know. It doesn't matter. One of the fish. Maybe you don't even have a choice. Is here in the room with us. Matter. No choice. These are weird feelings. Nice. Is one of the fish going to leave because they're angry at the other fish? Or maybe it's that one of them... Oh. <sighs> one of the fish friends wants to be more than friends, Harold. And they're not sure how that would work, but they're curious. Curious about it. Ever since you said that thing about jam on a wiener. <laughs> Raven Iron Eye, thanks for the 23 months. Appreciate it. Thank you for the 23 month resub. <clears throat> I, I, I don't know what's going on at all. I can't. I could not tell you what is happening. Oh my god, what? I hope these are boops and not pops. Why do you have crutches? Oh, that's the fish they gave me. The present. Oh, his shoes are in the water. High five. And that's how I met your mother. feeling about this oh, about i have what? a great feeling too what do you mean everything is bubbly <laughs> wow i know what you mean like we're being carried along by loads of tiny floating little bubbles and anything is possible like i'm just going to float along a gentle tide that only wants what's best for us we've come this far 
and all we can do is be us and see what happens. All right, we figured out what's in the particles. Don't you worry it's about THC. Where go. Yeah, but since all this, are you good? What's up? I've learned that Hi. worrying just makes you get less done. What are you doing? This feeling that things will work out. It helps. Yeah, we've taught each other lots. Humans are funny, but I think life will be more that? interesting now we've met you. Yeah, and we saved each other. Yes. Wait, it was only me that was hurt. No. Now there's an exciting future for both of us. Lots of plans. If we explore and find new things, wonderful. If there is nothing else, wonderful too. Definitely. Good things ahead. But something bad might happen one day. True. I hope no bad things even happen Ow. to start with. <laughs> Me too. But it'll be okay if they do. We'll deal with them together. I want to try <laughs> even more strange human things. And I'll get good at Caracal and the arty performances. We could make a garden. Like size. Yes, and make new kinds of jam. And live Ooh. happily ever after. Hope so. I really hope so. Cute. Whatever happens to the fedora and everyone, I just know it'll work out okay. And I think okay is enough. And yeah, not if you ever, if you, the two of you never come back from this fucking cave hallucination that you're having. Because everybody's still waiting to see what the particles are made of. <laughs> just think this is what happened to that fish that we sent down here too. <laughs> we sent one fish without a bubble. This is what that fish went through. Oh my god, what? Oh god, this is freaking me out. I don't get it. Oh god. Oh, it's fucking weird. They're the same person. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, what is going on? I need somebody to start making this make sense to me. You're here. They're just at the Where's bottom of the cave. <laughs> They're well, laying on their backs, looking up the the cave, just like, so glad you're Sometimes here, man. I stop what I'm doing, and I think, <laughs> no one ever truly knows how I feel, how anyone feels. So, what actually? <laughs> the hole is actually just therapy. Going up on the ship, I thought, with so many people, I'd never be alone. But then, it's only a few people great. you want around you, and. I wasn't expecting to be alone. You Their brains alone. are merging. I'm scared of being alone. But at the same time, not being alone is scary too. Everyone... What about everyone? Everything. Everyone wants something everyone different from me. Everyone everywhere? Or I need something all from them. It's so exhausting keeping track of it all. Oh. I don't really think about the other Flumilim. Wii U is Wii U, to me and to them. So, you do what you want? Whatever anyone else thinks or expects? No, I think about them, but we are not tied together. But what about your responsibilities? I mean, I can't just run away from it all. Are your legs hurt? No, oh, I mean, I'd feel bad, guilty. They've been good to me. So what are you worried about? Are you going somewhere? Well, yeah, somewhere. I mean, we all are, right? Together, we're all bound up in everything together. Then there's you and me. Oh, look. Is that 
Are they? I think they're the two flumi limb that came down here before. <laughs> they do look. Uh, good, don't they? Wow. Huh. Anyway, we are all connected. Anyway, you shouldn't be dragged along by someone. There's nothing True. behind them. There's just a blank I wall. I affect them too, right? What the fuck? But you also can't do everything alone. True. True. Um We you? We you are you there? Howell. Ah, oh, it's you. What is going on here? I was so worried. Me too. But I also somehow knew I'd find you. Looks like the dream team is back together. But where are we? Not sure. But I have a feeling this is the right way to go. Oh, we're supposed to be the ones that we don't came have much down else here? to go on. Oh great. Okay. Well at least we're kind of alive. Do you think we are somewhere? I don't know. We're definitely somewhere. I don't think we're nowhere. Yeah, we can't be nowhere. Wherever we are, we are together. And this will Bro, be a good story. I we don't know what so, is going on. Let's find out how it ends first. We're all super confused. None of us know anything more you than still anyone feel else. Like this is the right way? Yep. Don't you? Actually, yes. It's strange, but something does seem to be pulling me along. Go with the tide. They do look like uh, neurons, right? Yeah. Like with electrical pulses going through them. Well, this is a place. Um, we're on the surface. That's a pretty big deal. What is that thing? Let's touch it. They told us not to touch stuff. Oh, there's a big, uh, like, waterfall thing here. I don't know what it's called, but it's just in the water. It's like a whirlpool, kind of, but it's not spinning. I guess this is where the particles come from. Yeah, it's like a whirlpool, but it's not spinning, so it's just going down. Hey. Wee you. You see that? You mean the giant floating flower beam? It's like uh, that yeah. it's like Jormungandr from God of War. But um It's beautiful. It's making me feel sparkly. Howell, take my hand. Sure. Are you scared? <laughs> no. Come on. With me. Where are we going? Jump. We're fly oh my god, we're flying and I'm in control? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's the arcade games! Oh my god, they were making us practice for this. This game is genius, holy fuck. Wait, hang on. We gotta turn up the music, because I turned it really far down, and it's this scene has a lot of music, I can hear it. Oops. They literally trained us for this by making a, or by having us play those arcade games, and I was like, oh, all the arcade games are the same. But it's because this was going to happen. This is much easier than the ones in the arcade, because you can't crash into anything. At least not yet, anyways. Oh, God. I missed one. No, I'm sorry, giant fish thing. I missed one. Holy fuck, this is breaking my brain. Uh, 
just ran into us. It's fine, I guess. I don't think we're supposed to be this close to it, but we are, so... Oh, God! Uh... Oh, we're going up through the cave now, I think. Maybe. How are you doing? Oh, phew. Oh, we came back. And you've got the energy source? Oh, this thing. I... Yeah, <laughs> I think so. This is... Uh, you know, how am I doing? We found a lamp? Do you realize how much of a scare you've given us? We didn't want to think the worst, but... What were you doing down there? I literally oh, chased a cannot tell you. Oh, this is going to be pretty hard to explain. Hey... How long were we gone, anyway? Oh, not very long. Oh, that's good. Just about two weeks. Two weeks? It felt just like a few hours, didn't it, with you? Therapy takes time. I keeping track. Sometimes it felt like I'd been down there for a long time, and others it was all new, like we just arrived. Look, I'd love to hear all about this, but it's going to have to wait. Me and a few of the others have been stranded since the tube system and the broadband connection just stopped oh the fedora is silent that's not we're good we're on our own out here oh no what are we gonna do we could go to my place for tea what thanks for you but i have other ideas this is an i'm emergency. sure we'll figure something out if we just work together and harold do you think i've been just twiddling my thumbs the flumy limb rafi and i have built a new submarine oh nice. it just okay. needs an energy source pretty impressive what kind of energy how about the one you're holding Follow me. Let's head to the entrance lake. Et voila. Our new ride. <laughs> Super. It looks great. I like I the paint job. We're good with machines, too. I had some help from Raffi, but this old gal has some surprises left up her sleeve yet. Mind if I drive? Sure. I'll handle the systems and help you navigate from the back. What can I do? Oh, you get the fun job. Sit in the middle and man the grabby arm. Is that... Uh, the Have technical you. term for it? Oh, you loosen grabbing? up a bit, Harold. This is going to be fun! So, we think this vessel will be enough to power it? Let's find out. Slot it in and let's rev her up! I don't know where that came from. We just... It worked! When we came up from the thing, it just it was in our hands, so... Okay, let's see. What do we have here? It should all be pretty intuitive. Just don't press the eject button. Yeah, why did you ask to drive if you don't know what you're doing? Lever. Got the sonar display here. Throttle handle. Depth adjuster. And... Oh, what's this button to? Oh, that must Eject. be the... Yep, the wriggle control. Oh, Buckle wriggle up, control. Huh? Let's dive. Uh Why does she let him? I don't know. Why do any of the people in this game do any of the things that they do? This is so much fun. Great work, Bridget. Thanks. Well, you I'll don't want to. I mean, the eject is for emergencies. I want to go down there again. It was so weird and pretty. 
I think once was enough for me. Why do we have a wriggle control is a better question, yeah. One more time. The what now? Still nothing on the radio from Fedora. Why do you think they've gone silent? They're Could all be anything. dead. I'd say it was just all water cutting costs again, but it was so sudden. Something bad happened? Could be. Yeah, trying not to think about it. Maybe we should take our minds off it. Oh, can we play fish impressions? Hmm? I'd love to, but now probably isn't the time. Oh my god, I can't see oh, anymore where we're going. We've I'm scared. Back here. What language is that? Is it... Yep. Uh, am I supposed to go under? I don't know what the wriggle button is, yeah. I'm scared if I press a button, it's gonna be the eject button, though. I'm just doing this with a thumbstick. Well, there's a tube. <laughs> These fish look like pigs. In der Stadt, die es nicht gibt, wird es traurig sein. Es wird warten auf den Mann. It, it's very weird. That's what I'm saying. Like, this game is super fucking weird, but I love it. I love how weird it is. I like stuff like this because it's like, I mean, we play a lot of video games that are more or less the same, you know? Like, even if you take away, like, the story and the lore of, like, Horizon, for example, and then, like, the mechanics of the games are all pretty much the same. Um, it's not very oh, often that, nice. Do we have any more tapes? that I find, uh... So, let's play Spot the Fish. Oh, oh, look at that one. Oh, where? Harold, watch out! This is a very where? weird... I can't see the fish. Ah! It's frozen. Oh no. Poor, poor fishy. Why is it frozen? Is the cockpit glass okay? I can't see any cracks. Well, there are some in the fish. Oh, it's all frozen, what? Uh, this Weird. isn't good at all. For the ambient temperature anywhere near the fedora to have dropped far enough for this. Everyone's frozen to death. The aircon. Oh no! Slippy's aircon! They uh, might really need this energy source right about now. Looks like a big crowd at the arcades. Yes, but for what? Can you take us closer? 
I mean... Hello. Moreau, it's us. us. But what's going on in there? I'm not sure. Well, Moreau, Cyrus, Chris, and Hank. Stuck? Or not Hank. Uh, Major. Get us to the submarine dock. We've got to find out what's going on. Maybe because the all the tubes are frozen, so they can't go anywhere. Oh no. The ice is spread here too. There's no way we're going to be able to dock. We'll have to find somewhere else. Uh, let me think. Yeah, that should work. Okay, we need to make a detour. We'll try docking at Biosphere 4. There's a hole breach from the crash there. Maybe the ice hasn't reached it yet. Where to? I'll direct you. Just keep going around. I'm not really driving right now. Um, now I am, but I like the game is kind of pointing well, us know, where we're going. Well, so... of two main sections. The engine modules and like the agricultural driving, district. But... Bio 4 was the name of the latter. Apparently, it even had living fields and livestock during transit. Imagine having all those real animals around. Yeah. But like I said, it was damaged in the crash and deemed too expensive to maintain. I just hope it's still connected to the rest of the modules. <laughs> Hang on, Wii U. We'll get you warmed up soon. Okay, keep going this way. It won't be too long now. Oh, I wish I knew what's going on in there. Me too. It's starting to feel pretty strange. What do we do once we get in? Our best bet will be to try and find a security monitor station, so we can get more perspective on what's going on. Gosh, I hope everyone is okay. Wow, when you see the core from out here, it's pretty impressive. is over there. Poa, thanks for the five year resub. Thank you so much for the five years. Hooray. And there's power. There's computers. And stuff. 55 years. And plants. Here we are. It's kind of eerie. Yeah. No one's been in here for a long time. Wait. You hear that? Is it a ghost? Ha! <laughs> I doubt it. But it does sound like what I imagine an animal to sound like. But that's a silly thought. Anyway... <laughs> looks like the power's out. Anyway... Well, can you get this hooked up to the energy Ridiculous. vessel? There should be Ridiculous some jumper thought. cables in the engine compartment. Sure, I'll get to it. Righto, power is showing up. Just need to flick the master switch and... Wow. Oh. There's giraffe living in here? It really is huge in here. <laughs> oh look, we have company. Oh, what are those? 
Oh, I guess now we know where the ghost animal sounds come How are they alive? Amazing. I can't believe they adapted to survive down here. Do you think they bite? It must have been so peaceful for them here. I'm sure they're relaxed. How did they not start? They look so funny and nice. Well, much as I'd love to get to know them better, we should really try and get access to the arcade security cameras. Yes. Let's see. Oh, I recognize these controls. They're like the ones in the filter station. Living in the com I like pitch used black. To water drainage and filtering. Fantastic. Yeah, but they said they shut so it down it because it was I think so. requiring power. It so been used to monitor the filters and stuff. So if I can just get to the monitor root directory, ask it to change the camera feed, that should do it. Okay, let's see what we can see. Keep cycling through. Ah, there's the Agora Arcade. We should be able to talk to them through the Tannoy system too. The what system? What's the Tannoy Professor, system? Professor, everyone, you can hear us, right? We can see you. We're in the abandoned core. What's going on? Hang on. Let me see if I can turn on the security cam's mic, too. Harold? Is that you? Can you hear us? Harold, are you okay? Thank goodness. Where have you been? Long story, Professor. But we came back in Bridget's new submarine. The fedora is all iced up. We? Is we all with you, too? We use here, too. Nice to see you again, Professor. You three have got a lot of hoods for making us all worry and they're just turning up unannounced like this. Professor, are you all okay? Are you trapped in the arcades? What's going on? Oi, Faye. Yes, we're stuck here thanks to Schlipmeyer. He's had us all fooled from the get-go. Played us for real schmucks. All along, he's been planning to freeze not just the area around the ship, but the entire ocean. Why? He told you all this? Yes. Over the tannoy, once he'd hidden himself away somewhere, he said it's always been his dream to create the largest winter sport amusement park in the universe. Freeze the sea. Winter sports? From the get-go? All along? So... <laughs> his dastardly plan! He's around asking me all kinds of questions I don't want to answer. Stipmeyer, will you please present Flo and Go to the audience, please? Please witness the future <laughs> of Fedora. What? Like all the Sorry, best no, things Bubba. in life, what it the seems fuck? simple at first. Then the more you know about it, the more ingenious and brilliant it becomes. <laughs> it's all a lot of hot air. I'm going to freeze the water directly under the Fedora. Even water bodies usually freeze from the top down. I don't know. It all seems a bit fishy to me. I thought you said it wasn't a vote. It's not. I just happen to agree with them. I'm making the cooling procedure more efficient than ever. It's going to be able to cover a lot of ground. How does your AC technology work? Maybe I shouldn't tell you every part of it, eh? I need to finish hooking up these tubes for some tests. Are you going to help me or just stand and watch me suffer? Please witness the future of Fedora. Fedora. The evil music with these fucking animations. <laughs> oh my god, what? Why? <laughs> Where is he now? What are you doing? Not sure. Why? We all got together here for an urgent launch update. Bro, this is the best game I've ever played. The Holy locks. fuck, this is so good. Oh. <sighs> you okay, Howell? You went dreamy for a minute there. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Wii U. So, Moreau, what was the urgent launch update? Harold, please. The update was a ruse to get us out of the way. Oh my god, this we is so weird. We were never meant to take off with his procedure. He babbles something about how we'd just die in traveling through space. We may as well have fun in our lifetimes. My god. Can he really do it? Well, he's been developing the tech under our nose, of course, and we've got the raw materials all around us. He said we'd all thank him once the Slippy Ice Paradise <laughs> was ready. Slippy Ice Paradise. Okay, 
<laughs> we'll get you out of there somehow. Just hold on. Hold on, Harold. Oh really? God, dude. <laughs> Slippery little Slippy Ice Paradise. It's like you guys yes, you won't to... mind. Chris tried already. Even though I warned him, it's security glass, and no amount of handsome muscle nice. would get through it. Listen, you two. You should be able to access the security shutters and the door's control mechanism through the terminal computer. Okay. Let me see. I thought that Slippy was just going to be incompetent, not, uh... Evil. Just give me a minute. It's a weird old terminal. Uh Okay, I can't click any of those things. Any joy? Bro, I don't know what the fuck is going on, okay? Getting well, there. sorry, Professor. The door control interface is weird on this terminal. It's like you click one thing and it does the opposite. Then there's a pop up and you have to click again. Weird, Harold. You're looking at classic quality tech. Rafi, save the us. Newer consoles might be fancier, but you have less manual control. And because everything is integrated, it's a nightmare if anything needs replacing. Sorry, Rafi. Can you help talk me through it? Uh, fine. <laughs> I closed them. What are you seeing now? Oh, okay. A well, screen with the diamond shape on the left. Great. Nearly there. Click the top of the two buttons on the right. Click the top of the two buttons on the right. You mean the box with the key? No, you're on the wrong tab. That's the one I clicked and you wouldn't let me. Click the top of the two buttons on the right. Maybe they mean that. And then? The box in the middle of the screen should be active now. Click the slim switch in the very center. Click clicked. The door segments on the left should be animated now. They are. Did I do it? Go to the rightmost tab on the top of the screen. What are you seeing now? A screen with a key on one side. Great! Choose the REM cup rads around the 50 range. Pair Done. Click Go 8. Click section W7 and open it. Done. But nothing is happening. Did you press the- Aha! Uh -huh. You did it! Finally. Good job, Harold. <laughs> okay. Is that done it? Well done, Harold! Thanks. My pleasure. Okay, everyone. <laughs> let's get to the energy district. If Slippy is doing nefarious science, he's bound to be doing it there. Nefarious science. I thought we were just gonna watch through security monitors. Oi, the tube isn't working. Don't worry. Of course. I'm on it. Having much luck with the tube. Hi. Harold, can you still hear us? We're going to you need you to look into why the tube is down. Trot. Now that isn't going to be something we can what? fix why not? from here. You two. Do you think you can take the sub and try and see what the problem is from the outside? Yep. We know how it handles now, right, Wii U? Mm, sure. Let's rev her up. Great. I'll stay here on the radio and help liaise. Okay. Let's go. I'll do the grabby arm. Good luck, you two. Be careful out there. Okay, that's what the grabby arm is going to be for. Oh, okay, excuse me. Could have figured out that door without Rafi's help. Maybe when we started talking to them, the screens changed, though, so we didn't really have an opportunity to try. 
I think it's more about like getting their <laughs> getting their help. Nice, fell into the cockpit. That's good job. All right, let's see if we can figure out how to. Fix how are you holding up back there? Were you? The two oh, thing. Oh, it's okay, but it seems quiet without Bridget. Hey, what are you saying? I'm still on the radio, remember? Oh, uh, yes, much better. Mm -hmm. What do you think of all this drama? I bet none of the Flumalim ever have any crazy schemes. Oh, yes. Oh, it's very curious. It makes sense that if Slippy loves snow swords, he would want to create a snow world. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't seem like he checked with everyone if they also loved snow sports first. He did not. That's a very balanced way of looking at it. But I wonder, why didn't he tell anyone? Because he knew that we didn't like winter sports. He was so sad before all this happened. Good question. Humans can get very wrapped up in their own stuff, you know? And sometimes people hide their sadness because they don't know what else to do with it. Are you sad, Howell? Oh, thanks for asking. No, I'm not. Maybe I used to be. I'll be sad if we can't stop Slippy. I think all the Flumilim would be sad. I'm going to do my best with the grabby arm, though. It's going to be fine. We'll figure something out now that everyone is working together. That's the spirit, you two. Hey, even Raffi is helping. I am still listening, you know. Well, good. But once this is all over, you all definitely owe me some peace and quiet. It's a deal, Raff. Okay, looks like we're approaching the tube exterior. Bridget, we'll check out what's wrong first. Great, keep me posted. Okay, Bridget, you reading us? Oops, Loud and it. clear. What's the situation? We've arrived outside the Agora Arcades. It looks like the actual transportation tube is disconnected. Maybe the ice broke it somehow. Mm. Drat! I guess the sudden change in pressure from the ice must have displaced or warped some of the connections. How bad is it? Well, the good news is the tube itself is in one piece. So, if we can get a good grip with the grabber, we should be able to reattach the main tube and lock it back in place. And the bad news? Oh, well... There isn't any extra bad news. Oh, good. Well, get going. But be careful, Wheel. If the tube cracks, the whole thing will be unusable. I'll take super care of it. Okay, let's do this. I'll get us into position now. What? Won't it be full of water? I guess that's probably how it usually is. But it's full of ice, too. I wonder how Team Moreau is doing. Well, from what I can see, they're starting to get into the tube one by one. Chris is doing push-ups while he waits for his turn. <laughs> Where are they going? Well, now they're telling me that the direct connection isn't working for some reason. It's not connected on the other side. What do you think is wrong? I'm not sure. Could be a few things. Plus, there's the potential side effects of all the ice to consider. Hmm... Seems like it was only the direct path to the energy district that was down. Maybe a malfunction in the tube's control panel? Oh, so what now? They're en route to the central station now. They'll try again from there. Okay, keep us posted, Bridget. Oh, we, okay, we're just going back. really impressive grabby arm work, by the way. Oh, thanks. I just thought about holding on to a slippery fish. Oh, it seems like the route via central station is working out for them. They're on their way now. All this makes you realize how reliant we are on those tubes to get around now, huh? This makes you realize that? Well, we didn't move around as often, and I suppose we only went to places we really needed to. <sighs> so you built tubes to move more often to places you didn't really need to go to? Uh, yes. It is fun zipping through them, though. The whoosh sound, it takes no effort. <laughs> yes. I think I'm glad to have them, even with the fines and all the delays. Ah, uh, good timing, you two. Team Moreau has arrived now. So, what was the problem with the tube? Maybe it was just the electronics being affected by the ice? Whatever it was, 
It doesn't seem to be affecting the whole system, which is a relief. So it's been like 50 years since they crashed. How long do giraffes live? <laughs> yeah! The door to the energy harvest is locked too! Seems like Slippy has barricaded himself using the lockdown routine. Yes. And the door can't be controlled. About 25 years, system. so. Due to the all water emergency protocols we baked in. So it can only be opened from the inside? <sighs> If he's in there doing something slippery, we've got to stop it. What are we going to do? Did we ask him? Even if we wanted to, the emergency protocols block out the security cams and tannoy. To protect potentially sensitive all water corporation activity, he totally I don't know isolated why they himself. Oh, must be nice. No interruptions. Wait a sec, Bridget. Didn't you tell me the agricultural district and the energy harvests were connected? Ooh, good thinking. Yep, by the retractable conveyors. Aha, uh -huh, so we can get in from serves, here. The one that connects energy to agricultural is near the back of the core. Okay. Rafi, what do we do next? You need to lower them first from their rooftop storage, then power them up. How do you know all this stuff, Rafi? I did have a life before the arcade, you know. Anyway, ask me about that later. You're going okay. to need to align the belts in a continuous path so you can reach the opening that leads to the harvest. Okay, doesn't sound too hard. Let's go, Wii U. Such teamwork. I'm like a proud mother hen. <laughs> Thanks for streaming this. What's up, Clary? Thanks for the 34 month resub. Sabian, thank you for the 52 months as well. I, like I said, I've been looking forward to this game for a couple years, and so far it has exceeded my expectations. This is the most bizarre video game experience I think I've ever had, and I'm really enjoying it. Okay, you two, it's time you got going to the energy harvest. Great. You going to be okay here? Yep, I'll stay here to monitor the security cameras and oversee the situation. I hope it's better to watch than those videos Howell showed me. Everyone shouting and then kissing straight after. <gasps> What the fuck? Just what are you even showing her? <laughs> and when you see Slippy, tell him I always knew he'd slip up. Oh my god. Uh, okay. All right, we'll Dad. Do. See you later. I guess it's the telenovela thing that they were talking about. What? Why are you crouching like that? Just sit down, you fucking weirdo. What? Well, it's that, like, the thing that was playing in the lounge, the TV show. Shh, Wii U. We don't know what we're going to find at the end of this. What are we going to do at the end of this? You're going to get slippy. That's one way of putting it. Well, I'll think of something. It's always me who has to get his hands dirty. No, this is a secret way to get into this uh, thing because this guy barricaded himself in here. Slippy, we're here. It's... Oh. Slip, Maya. I can't even count how many regulations you've breached. And he's not here. Calibur, the door. Harold, you? Everyone. Look, let's not be hasty. Oh, here he is. If I could just show you my plans, I was only trying to... I'll show you a plan. <laughs> oh, shit. My hand. Well... That settles it, I suppose. Thanks, Chris. Is he okay? Gosh, I was overcome with emotion thinking of the children. I hope I didn't overdo it. Please no one tell them about this. You Chris, fucking killed him. Relax. <laughs> it's over. I'm sorry, Nova. She keeps trying to lay on my lap, and I keep laughing at this fucking game, so she keeps getting scared. Well, may as well spice things up a bit in the meantime. What? What's <laughs> over? She just pulls what out a flask. What is going on? Solar winds are due to begin again. Oh my and god. And soon. 
<laughs> He's like, you son of a bitch! <laughs> After these shenanigans, we simply won't have the record. The animation of him, like, in order slamming into the thing and then hitting the ground. It just, oh my god, dude. What is going on? <sighs> or can't we risk it? What's the worst that would happen? Well, if we launch late, we run the risk of the solar flares crippling the ship, like last time. Okay, I'll give you a treat. I'm so ocean. sorry. And there's no telling if our next landing will be so lucky. And if we launch on time? My calculations are nearly complete, but if we time it just a second wrong, we might sink deeper or use up our remaining fuel just to move a few miles away. Hmm. And even if your calculations were already done, what with the all-water time theft, it'd probably be late by now anyway. Oh yeah, the time theft. <gasps> oh my god, I forgot about the time theft! I tried to tell you that day in your lab, but we got distracted oh, with no. the phone. Me and the light keepers, I was gonna tell you I joined them. They're a bunch of teenagers. We found proof that all water were shaving a bit off every hour to help with the energy crisis. Fuck, I so forgot about that. We had even less time than we thought all along. What are you talking about? How and why do you shave an hour? So we have to do less work and to save energy. And, well, actually, not every hour, only the ones in daytime. By now, apparently, it adds up to two full hours each day. How? But we would have noticed. Ah, but we didn't because of the introduction of all water digital time. And they controlled the time in tiny little bits so it would always feel normal. So, all water fooled us more than Slippy and we must have... Wait, saving on daytime? Ah! Harold, you wonderful, beautiful schmuck. If what you say is true, and these days the truth is stranger than one of your little head stories, then it's exactly the opposite of what you think. We have more time than ever. We do? What? How does that work? Yeah, how does that work? Think, Harold. I'm thinking. If what we perceived as a day of 24 hours was actually only 22, that means oh, yeah. we haven't actually reached today's date yet. That's true. Now, let's nice. see. All water digital time was introduced eight years ago. Cyrus, check my math. Well, even if they were shaved up to one, then two hours after a few years, we should have more than four months left until the launch window ends. Nice. <laughs> Much as I love it when you're wrong, that means... I know, I thought they were going to argue. Our calculations were correct, but time was wrong. Oh. Like the space bacteria would degenerate faster than modeled. Oh, if we had just done the experiment at night time. Oh, wait. Then, and that means, and I was so blind. Time. All along. It's about time, right, bros? It's true. This is a matter of urgency. Time is of the essence. We know we were onto something when we noticed Yavis' watch didn't match up with the official time. And what time do you call this? Party time. The time is... I know <laughs> what the time is. Time is of the essence. First time's the hardest. At the same time, a stitch in time saves nine. Four at the same time is quite a feat. And time is running out. None of these are... <laughs> like, most of these aren't even relevant. A proper routine. But maybe this whole time... All water is trying to steal time. Just what do you suppose I'm doing with the stolen time? Maybe taking the time for yourself? Now, if and when the time is right... We might even have some time for ice skating. Why not give them all the time? Your first time at Quick Soup Colorfish? <laughs> this will be the last time I explain it to you, so for once, pay attention. There's no... Time. 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 All that time. time. It's all just in every instance of the word time. If we're to get the exact numbers of when and how much time they've stolen. Speaking of which, has anyone seen her? We didn't see her on any of the cameras. Nor Zoya. Do you think they escaped being trapped? Unlikely. They were probably incapacitated by Slippy as part of his plan. They could be anywhere. We'd better split up and find them. Maybe we should start in the Allwater District. Why don't we just ask him? I, uh, don't <laughs> think he was an A. <laughs> His eyes are open! I'm sorry, okay? I was just so overwhelmed. How was I supposed to know he'd take it so badly? It's okay, Chris. At least he didn't get away. Cyrus, let's go with Harold and Wii U to the All Water District. Major, I imagine you'll want to stay with Slippy. 
Everyone keep in touch via PDA and don't leave any stone unturned. Let's go. Oh, and Bridget, can you tell the others over the Tannoy system to search whichever area they're in? It's them. They look fine. I don't think you would take it so badly. Do I look fine? Well, I mean, it could have been worse. They left them snacks. Those snacks are tasty. Yes. I could have been tied up with you. Can someone please tell me what is going on? Okay, well, they were Sleepy engineered this whole hoax. He was never really working on a relaunch procedure. His plan was to freeze the planet into a giant ski resort. Something none of us saw That's coming. Absurd. Professor, I expected better from you. So, so there's no relaunch what? plan. Better from all. her? What did she do wrong? I can't believe it. Well, I'll never fly this thing. Madam CEO, I could say the same about you. We know all about the time hoax, but it's still imperative you clear up a few things. What good will it do? Still, I suppose it can't hurt at this point. And you did untie me. Mm -mm. Fire away. Firstly. When did you start the time skimming process? About eight years ago. For the good of the ship, of course. And how much did you shorten the days? Well, we started with 30 minutes, just letting the clocks run a tiny bit faster during the daytime. Every two years since then, we made gradual transition to another half an hour shorter. And I thought it was my fault those plants were growing slowly. Cyrus, stop blathering about plants. Man, run the it all for comes me, together. Okay. What the so fuck? That means nice. 365 hours in nice the first two down. years, 730 to two years after that, then 1,095 hours, and then 1,460 hours. 25 which adds times. Adds up to 3,650 hours. Oh no, they said eight years ago. Never mind. So we have 152 days left. Or nice. what we think of as today is, in fact, 152 days away. Whoa, that's a lot of time. Like half a year. How come none of us noticed? Aha, uh -huh. this is the clever part. We tapped the shifts to the summer winter time changes. People's circadian rhythms always go a bit haywire around then anyway. Subtle. No. So oh, the no had to be time, in French for some reason? But no procedure after all. I wouldn't be so sure about that. <laughs> yes, we kind of worked on a thing. A thing? Kinda. A secret backup relaunch procedure. We were never taken in by Slippy's showmanship. And sorry to say, Madam CEO, your blind trust in sneezed. him. I was like, what, so it was took that? me a while, but I got a little something theoretically up and running. But I was stymied by the time theft messing with my calculations of velocity. That's why my simulation failed that day, you know. We even double checked, triple even, in everything. Well, I won't forget your flagrant distrust in me anytime soon. <laughs> But I suppose your rebellious streak what? has borne some We didn't trust you and we shouldn't have. You were lying. You explain this procedure to me so we can work on the press release. Oh my god. So we really might still launch after all. Yes. Yes. Funnily enough, there'll be plenty of time for all that. But now, I need tea and a nap. Yeah. It's been a crazy day. Tea nap sounds good to me. Spicy tea. Spicy tea? Uh, come on you two. Let's leave Zoya and the CEO to get some rest. Spicy tea. I'm sure it was exhausting okay. eating all those What snacks. has the professor been giving we Wii U because... The next steps. Okay, I suppose we can postpone the agenda until then. I imagine there will be much that needs doing, including some serious PR damage control. Okay. He gets a medal. Oh, we all get medals. Nice. <laughs> He's doing 
to a community service. He's got to clean up trash from the water. Oh, he's got a baby flounder. Cute. And then I punched him. <laughs> This game is a fever dream. It's excellent. It is so weird. It is so, so weird. Alright, now how many days was that montage? We're going back to... There you go. I was gonna say, like, man, if they're gonna make us play 152 more days with, like, various montages, that would be a lot to redo. Because I kind of figured we were close to the end of this. Okay. We gotta check out our new drawings. We got a lot of them. Oh my god, so many messages. Holy shit. Okay. Uh are you okay? I haven't heard from you in so long if you're something if something's happened to you. See the problem is that when it when I go back, it goes all the way back. To my fellow jury members, I beseech you to remember the halo effect. It would be grossly remiss of us to confuse the effect of an action with how we feel about the man who made it when liberty is on the line. Despite our disagreements, I'm happy to announce the final verdict of the maximum possible sentence of 24 weeks of community service. John Slippy Jr. will serve 12 of them. May we all gain something from his mistakes. Ben, uh... Save. Oh, if I just press A, it goes back. Okay, cool. Sure, taking your time. I know the two of you will look after each other. Can't wait to hear about it, okay? I haven't seen or heard from you in ages. It's good to mingle. Don't forget to show your faces around a bit more. The CEO. All water here. How's it going? We've been thinking recently. So much has changed recently, so maybe we should too. Time for a breath of fresh air. A lot is going on. Uh, going to change. The first step, dropping the stuffy old title of CEO. We want to be more of a big family than a business. You know, think of me more as... Ma Brenna instead of CEO Castle Chop. <laughs> no thanks, corporate overlord. Can't fool me. To my fellow Fedorans from Slippy, I write to you all with a message of regret that things turned out as they did. While I acted in the spirit of unity and ambition, wanting only the best for everyone, apparently some mistakes were made. In hindsight, I missed the mark that I had originally set for myself and others, and I can honestly say it's a shame that certain individuals felt strongly about my actions. In the future, I promise to do better, and I hope this court-ordered message will meet with your satisfaction. Oh, Slippy. You and we need to find a way back to us. If mom asks you, we're hanging out. We are, okay? Don't be a major lame-o about this. Mom's still in the cave, too. It's way too quiet around here. Oh, You're a big jerk if you don't come back. Hope you're not being too lame in the meantime down there. Cute. They care. This company is a family. Time to come back. Cute. Oh, they were all so worried. Wee you. Glubular. I need you to confirm you're still alive. Cute. How 
do I look at the other drawings? I'm pressing all the different buttons trying to figure out how to how to Oh, okay, it's trigger. Got it. My boy. My hey, boy. Professor. How wow. are you holding up? Oh. Just fine, just fine. We're friends now. Preparations for the relaunch have gone swimmingly. Ah, oh, great. So they're nearly done? Yes. We're really just putting the finishing touches on now. Wow. Can you believe we're about to try and take off after everything? I knew we'd figure out a procedure. But I would never have guessed at what it took to get there. Me neither. Are you excited to see space again? Yes. But that's not to say I won't miss this place. It had a certain watery charm and plenty of scientific curiosity. But you know, I'm getting old. My real wish is to step foot on real ground. Yeah, it was nice to be outside of the fedora in the cave, but I suppose that's not what you're thinking of. Hmm, indeed. I'd like to see the sky, but enough about me. How are you feeling about leaving Wii U and the Flimmelim? I know you grew close to it all. Yeah. I'm gonna miss Wii U. I'll miss it all. But this is our path, right? I think so, my boy. You'll always cherish the time you had with them. But don't you want to continue the mission? Get back to finding a real home? Yeah, it makes sense, I suppose. Do you think we will? I'm not sure. But what do we stand to lose? True. True. Have you said goodbye to Wii U and the Flimmelim yet? Not really, no. Well, no point putting it off. Saying goodbye only gets harder the longer you leave it. And so send them all my regards. Yeah, I know. I know. And Harold? Yeah? You'll miss Wii U, but over time, it does get easier. You'll be busy once we're back on course. It'll feel like a whole different life. I know. I know. I kind of, I'm like hoping he doesn't choose to say, stay because I feel like it's too obvious. And then this game so far has done nothing but surprise me. So I'm kind of hoping that it ends up being not what I expect. I feel like it's too too straightforward for that to happen. If I can guess what's gonna happen, then you've done it wrong. <laughs> um, so central station, I guess. Location nominated. Journey commencing. All water thanking you. We know you enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. All water. Moving people every day. All water. We get you where you're going. Hey there. Hello, Harold. Enjoying the atmosphere? Sure. Very normal and nice. What are you up to? Just on my way to water some moss. You want to join? Oh, thank you. But I can't. I'm... Well, I'm leaving, actually. That's okay. Have a nice time. Is Wii in here? No, 
doesn't look like anybody's in here. Okay. I think we're just supposed to, like, interact with all of them before we leave. Dita chick. Hi, I'm just going to the Maogaraha. Oh, lovely. Is it good right now? <laughs> I will know when I get there. I'm gonna miss it. It's okay. I think it will still be there for a while. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, when I leave. Huh. Yes, silly. You can't be in two places at once. <laughs> See you there soon, maybe. Yeah. Enjoy it. See ya. Oh, we use up in their, like, apartment or whatever. Hi, hi. Hey there. How's Caracal? I'm getting the hang of it. How's yours? Good. It's jelly time. Oh, cool. Rich jelly Any time. Ones recently? I'm working on one, actually. Okay, so how are they actually made? Come on, I'll show you. God, I'd love to see. But I'm pretty much about to leave. Oh, anywhere nice? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Good luck with your jelly. Thanks. Have fun with your next place. you hey howl how's fedora doing yeah nearly there oh are you excited i mean it is exciting but it's gonna be so hard leaving you behind and this place i'm just yeah maybe we'll find a new home out there but also maybe not at least not in my lifetime you know i don't know you will, or you won't, but at least you will have the chance. Mm. And of course, I will miss you. We have true Simbo. We all will. But we're just happy we could help with the energy and everything. Yes, we couldn't have done it without you all. And I couldn't have done it without you, Wii U. And I would probably be a cold non-Wii U if you hadn't helped me get better. Non Wii U. Everything has changed since knowing you. It will be hard to remember Tidomo now. Maybe I'll go exploring a new part of the ocean. <sighs> Can you believe how lucky we were to even meet? I always thought this luck you all have is a very strange thing. You do a thing or you don't. But what if a thing happens to you that has nothing to do with your own actions? I don't understand. Life is like a tide, you know? It's not always obvious where a tide comes from or is going, or how it connects to other tides. But if you are you, you go with the tide or you go against it. Sometimes it doesn't matter if you try not to go with it, sometimes it does. Wii you. the fedora is nearly ready to launch. This is going to be the last time we see each other. I know, Howell. I don't know what to say. It's okay. Remember, Simba. We'll always have it. Please don't kiss. Thanks for you. <laughs> we will. You are friends. That's it. Okay, good. Sad jazz music. Oh no. Hope you have good tides. And you, Wii you. And you. No, no shape of water. Shh. Lunreal, no. <laughs> Don't type in the chat anymore. Oh god, I'm walking in slow motion. Goodbye.
Falling in love with you. The what did I say? Oh, if I had another chance to make you stay. Cause we ran away. I knew just what you think. What's going on, bro? I fucking don't know. We are saying goodbye to our friends uh, on this alien planet and launching our spaceship to the stars. I don't know how that's going to work, but... I'm, I'm walking in slow motion, so... on the ship you don't want to miss it taking off i do oh you mean i want to stay too obvious i know it sounds crazy and i'll be the only human here but no it's not crazy it's just you i would love it but are you really sure won't you miss everyone else more than you want to stay here i'm sure i've always gone with the tide but now, I want to break out of it. Choose a tide for myself. And not the one that leads up into cold, empty space. It's the first time I've ever really been sure of anything. I believe you. You found your Luga Luga Luga. Yeah. Luga Luga Simbo. Luga 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 Simbo. I was really hoping that he like learned how to be around humans better because he was really bad at being around humans and that that was going to be like the life lesson, you know, was him learning how to hey, professor, be with people. Oh, Harold, like he established you know? good friendships well, with all fine, these people. Great. We don't have much time. I could do with some help sorting the final, final preparations. Jean, I'm not coming. Okay. It's only natural you're emotional. I suppose I can finish things up by myself. No, Professor. I mean, I, I wouldn't mean, say it's a bad ending. I'm staying with Wii U. 
It's not over yet. Oh. We'll see what happens, I guess. I just feel I'm like sorry. it's so predictable for him to Can stay. You understand? Harold, I've grown terribly fond of you. But if I've learned anything about you, it's that you always defy expectations one way or another. So, you're not angry? Angry? Dear boy, I'm delighted. I will miss you like I miss my left hand. But if you finally found something you feel strongly enough to shout Jeanne at me, then I'm happy for you. Thank you. I'm gonna miss you too. She does have a very French name, I just realized. Been there for me. But she has an English accent. I wouldn't accent, be making so. this decision if it wasn't for you. In a nice way, I mean. <laughs> I know what you mean. Have you thought it all through? Do you need any help with the uh, practicalities? Not really, but what is there? I'll just take a few of my things. The Fluvalim have all the materials I'll need there. I'll get settled in no time, I'm sure. Well, I guess this is goodbye. Oh no, no, I'm gonna have to say goodbye to everybody on the ship. Guess it is. Be safe, Harold. Wish us luck. I'll do one better. I'll wish you good times. <laughs> accents wouldn't last Very long in a generation funny. ship. Yeah, but they all have accents. There's a bunch of them that have English accents. Well, the giraffes are on the ship, I guess. It's a lot of rocks.
buddy. The mailman. Okay. That was a game. I think Ona was the name of the uh, mime performer guy, wasn't it? Puppet maker. Uh, Andrew Rhino, thank you for the 74 month resub, and Owan and on, thanks for the 69 month resub. Appreciate it, thank you so much for your continued support. It was very bizarre. Very, very bizarre him. Um, I would say, I guess, I think the ending to me feels like the big disappointment of like like I said it's too obvious to me like it's too expected um and I feel like for Harold like not a lot changes right like he just goes with what he knows already um whereas the like going to space thing is where the actual adventure is because he's never done that before so choosing to stay with the flumulum in like a safe spot that he already understands and already knows and like can talk to the people and stuff like that. Um, I feel like to me it would make, yeah, see entertainment or not. That's the name. And that the voice of the guy is actually the person who like created this game. They aren't primarily English speaking. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I guess not. And yeah, the dialogue was well done. Mini internships. Cute. Oh, miniature. That's what they mean by mini. Not the internship was mini. <laughs> okay. Never. I got it. Good. Yep. I thought he'd ask you. Yeah, because, okay, so here's the thing is that Wii U was like, once you know there's more, how can you be happy, like, with what you have, right? And I guess, like, their whole thing was, like, being happy with what they have, but at the same time, it kind of feels like... Um... Uh, yeah, it's a lot of German stuff. They had some other stuff as well, but... Um... I feel like Wii U going with him would have been more like interesting to me, but that's also kind of expected. I don't know. This whole thing was just like a trip. This is a mega trip. This is this is the most bizarre game I have ever played. Control was less bizarre than this. Yeah, Control was less bizarre. Control was pretty bizarre, but not like this. This was the whole time every... Huh? Bizarre? Um, why? How do you say it? How do you say it? Bizarre? Bizarre. 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 Chevron. I don't know why she likes when I say it. How do you say Chevron? Yeah. Chevron? What, when I say it? Well, the main character's name was uh, Jean Moreau, but she says her name like Jean Moreau. But it's spelled E, like E U X at the end, or A Mo, yeah. But she had an English accent. Um, Something worth being a gamer could it have been a movie? No. 
Well, bizarre, like we say, oh, bad, bad, not good? Cool. Oh, I had no idea. Oh, that's where I've, he I've heard that before. Oh my God, that like clicks for me now. Oh, is this why it was like a... So bazaar with an A is like a place where you go shopping, right? Bazaar. Baza. Yeah. And then bizarre is a different thing. So, um, no, I mean, I think that as a game was great. Um, one A is weird, three A's is shopping. Yeah. Right. But we do say them pretty similarly in English. Especially if you're speaking quickly. Like, I'm going to the bazaar. That was bazaar. That. Because we don't really say, like, bizarre. Which is the distinction. Um. Okay. Do I watch the whole thing? That was great. It was what, like 10 to 12 hours? I mean, considering it took them like 18 years to make this game. That was very trippy. My fa my favorite part has to be the reveal of Slippy as like, I thought he was just gonna be an incompetent, like capitalist dude trying to like get money basically. And instead it was like, He was actually like an evil mastermind. Him with his blueprints in the corner being like, ha ha, they'll never know that I'm trying to build a giant amusement park. <laughs> like what? What? How weird. How bizarre. How bizarre. How bizarre. Bizarre. C'est bizarre. C'était bizarre. Oh mon dieu. She hates it. She's dying in the corner. Okay. Um, Chat, that's it for me today. We have finished quite possibly... No, not quite possibly. Absolutely the weirdest game I have ever played. That was fantastic, and I'm glad that I played it. I was very excited waiting for that to come out for the past few years. And um, that was weirder than I ever expected. So, yeah, I don't, I just, I mean, you watched it. That was wild. That was just a trip. 10 out of 10 on the bizarre scale. Yeah, that was, it, but it was great. Like, it was it was so weird, but it was really like wonderfully weird. Like, it was just weird. <laughs> um, yeah. So let's see. Tomorrow, Gray Zone Warfare actually, because I have that. I have access to that for the next week. Um, but I will be gone for a few days next week. So, um, yeah, I forgot about that, huh? So Thursday and Friday probably gonna be playing Gray Zone. I think Saturday, yeah, Saturday off, and then Sunday. Horizon. Uh, we're working on Horizon Forbidden West. And yeah, so that's it. So I'll see you all tomorrow for Gray Zone Warfare. We're going to check that out, see what that's like. And I hope you all have a really good night. Thank you so much for watching the stream today. And I hope you all enjoyed Harold Halibut. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.